Hello and welcome to Blood and Song. I am Johnny, your DM, and tonight I am joined by Bradley. Hiya. Ryan. He's <coughs> muted, but that was he hello, did. I think. Ooh, hello. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, he's Christine. That out. Hello. Dan. Hello. And Sean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, that was. Didn't have no, any time no to plan. That's all, that's all you're going to get. Thanks. Um... How has everyone's week? What have people been up to? Uh, it was my mum's birthday. So... Happy birthday, Hooray. Christine's mum. Happy birthday, Exciting. Christine's mum. Yeah, so we bought her a bit on Wednesday, but it was also, her birthday is the same as my brother-in-law's birthday, and it was his 40th. So, like, oh, okay. Overshadowed. Oh, no. some. Yeah, a little bit, only for, by, only for by the... By someone who's not even really part of the family. You know what I mean? What are going to do? Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it was great. So, basically, um, my sister and brother-in-law went out for a proper meal and a proper go and have a drink afterwards and we babysat on wednesday night but then on saturday we went to the tower of london good wow. golly london is weird on a saturday the <laughs> original the original dungeon yeah <laughs> that's it well with this is it it was so strange being there at midday on a saturday and not like being able to socially distance on the tube like, yeah what is that about um, well, for another week or two, keep... at least. Yeah, that's true. Not having to. Keep... Then it's back to, to sniffing in. armpits. <laughs> Unintentionally um, sniffing armpits. No, it was great. Oh, uh... It was really good. If anybody has not been to the Tower of London, I totally recommend going to the Tower of London. It I was only went to the Tower of London day. recently for the first time ever, as well. Being someone who's lived in London for a while, you, like you just don't go to the to the mm. what what you call touristy spots, but really it's because they're the best places to go. And I mm. went in there, and I and I was just honestly, I was I was completely amazed. And yeah, it is genuinely yeah. amazing in there, isn't it? In the it, Tower of London. it is, and it doesn't really matter what your thoughts. Well, maybe it does. Your thoughts on the royals are. <laughs> But nah, to, it's, to ancient. Same, it's ancient. It's ancient. It's fine. When you go in to where the crown jewels are, it is a massive vault door. You go in there, and there is the queen mother's uh, crown with the Koh i Noor diamond on it. You know, like these things are there, and they're used, and they're real. And you're like, oh my god, that was worn by Queen Victoria. That little crown was worn by Queen Victoria for Albert's funeral. That was what is that about? It's like, you you're not like tempted massive... to look at the crown and just go, I "Should probably give that back." Just saying. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know, probably. take the diamonds off and give them back Lots to the uh, you know, really? take the jewels off and give them back to the yeah. I know, but it's it a massive cup. Sketch there. there was like a huge cup, wasn't there? Like a huge, like a wine oh, it's, sort it's of. A, no, it's like a big punch bowl, but yeah. it's like three foot <laughs> yeah. wide. The royal it's punch like bowl. One hundred and forty-four bottles of wine can, in it. You can get that at cocktail uh, <laughs> TJ Fridays or yeah, that was, <laughs> that was Henry VIII's just average drink, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty much. It's like it's the coronation punch bowl or something. And then has I hate Mondays written on it in Latin. Yes, it does. Yeah. There's a lot of gold in there and a lot of diamonds. <laughs> Hasn't one of the um, ravens left the tower? I don't think so. They they have so the tradition is Philip wasn't is a raven, guys, mate. He was just really <laughs> old. There's supposed to be si um, six ravens there at yeah. all times, and they have seven. And actually, oh, they got I two one of the little ones. Have lost. One for each yeah, of the gods of Arian world. Left. They got two. They got two <laughs> new ones. I think He's in the summer. Royalist. The reason we went is because my mum's been following um, them during lockdown. The beef eaters have been doing lots of uh, little videos on Facebook and stuff about the ravens and about the, this one that's got a squirrel called Cyril. Um, and they just talk about... Uh, hang, sorry, the raven's got a squirrel? No, beef eater. Oh, oh right. I genuinely that thought that, that was cool. Well. Ra I mean, it would be cooler. cooler. Raven just with a squirrel um, on its back. Oh, I'm there that. Cool, Right, it? hang on. <laughs> <laughs> the ravens are massive, though. They're huge. Yeah. I don't think I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, they're actually quite intimidating, aren't they? Genuinely? Four hit points, <laughs> one d four minus one damage, fly anyway. by attack. Anyway, that's that was my week. It was fun. Yeah, was speaking of like go, being able to go out and see people and stuff, um, we um, Dan, Ryan, and myself were able to meet up with Taj, um, which was lovely. Who it may or may not be in the chat currently. Yes, um, right. we yes. went. Chat right hello, Taj. Um, we had a lovely dinner um, and it was like a fantastic restaurant and but or, that's all fine that none of that matters because I've got my Tesla parked outside so this is finally <laughs> Dan was able to I mean Taj could re in reality have brought it himself yeah they're the keys, how long right? it's that's, been. that's the keys right this is the key yeah, it, yeah it's actually got an ID chip on it um, I'm not joking I downloaded the Hot Wheels app and I've been playing around with it in the app I'm, I'm a grown adult but and without any children <laughs> But yeah, but Legally yeah, adults. this would say otherwise. Um, and also the, the um, chilies um, and the spice Which you'll pouch. be eating uh, during the show today. 
He did yes. agree to that today, I believe. <laughs> that was the exact discussion yeah, he agreed was, to, wasn't it, Dan? I, yes, I, I heard. I haven't had long enough today. to peruse these yet, and I couldn't I couldn't. Will you peruse them with home. your mouth? You know what you should do? Don't peruse <laughs> them. Publicly. Just grab one, stick it in your mouth. That's how many, how many there, Sean? How many there? Wait, wait, wait. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. There you six, are, D6. That's a D6. That's a D6. That's a D6. Every time you eat a chilli, roll a D6. Let's, Done. I think, okay, listen, I'll do it. <laughs> Wait, but there has to be the right moment in the story for it to happen. If you roll, right a, natu- now, if you roll a natural one, you have to roll for a chili. <laughs> DM, can you make it so that we have to six, sit down? Six and is still mourning people? the, you know, the, the loss I of I feel seed. like you might wander into a dream sequence where the Everyone's only way to defeat it <laughs> is to have a certain level is to, of... It's to yeah. have a, some sort Scoville of... Uh, scale yeah. Got. <laughs> well, at some point, I mean, in game, obviously, Six uses this spice pouch to sort of bring a bit of home with him and his, his brother and his mm. extended family. Um, but on stream, maybe I can put some, a random assortment of chilies in there, you know, like a sort of one of everything. Ooh, and Russian then at some point, so maybe for next chilies. time or the time afterwards, because I'll be too lazy to do it for next Monday. But maybe the Monday afterwards, I'll have like a Russian roulette of chilies. I mean, in there are no words in, what, 20 something years of our friendship. I would pay to see you do that. Well, speaking of, we have a Patreon. No, no, no. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet, we don't, but we not will. No. But we do have other socials. So let us know if you eat chilies on stream or if you ever have plotted to steal the crown jewels from the Tower of London or if you visit any other of the wonderful attractions here. Uh, let us know on Blood Song Party on Twitter or Blood and Song on Facebook and Instagram. We want to know. We want to know have you planned to heist the crown jewels and can we get in on it? No, I don't know. Oh, we don't. Come San Diego. Don't did that no. exactly did there that. you go so, um, add eating a chili to the drinking game we have to come up with the official rules for the drinking game soon yeah um we can add it there was it johnny english or drinking Bean? game also stolen and it was in sherlock so you know it's a pretty common thing which is ironic really isn't it people always talk about stealing the crown jewels when the crown jewels mm. are really just stolen from other places <laughs> and, um, it's, and it's not let's be honest it's not a common item that's probably a legendary item so you know Crown Jewels. <laughs> well it was but it was a couple of legendaries combined just to make exactly it. to make ryan that's how i describe it's a homebrew it's a homebrew isn't it from all the legendary yeah. items so you're some crown jewels are you homebrew yeah. for crown jewels. I'm, the, I'm the i'm the world's greatest crown jewel right so you know unfortunately sitting, crown jewels sitting in a Wales. vault alone nobody wants them no one can get to them you know i'm like the single crown jewel with no other yeah. Christine to love has either it. frozen. Guys, can you hear that? That's Sorry, just the did, face did, did that I hear that yeah. weird I buzz. I did freeze for a bit, but there was a face anyway. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone else have the weird buzz? Um, uh, no. I think. Sorry, it must have been the tiny violin I had for Ryan's. Oh. <laughs> you need to turn the gain up on that tiny violin, don't you? If you're hearing the buzz, no, no that's no. a callback to a pre-stream setup. I thought you'd like that. <laughs> Nobody got that. Yeah. <laughs> Lost on me, mate. I got it. I got it. There was some buzz there. I assume it was everybody laughing. Is that what happened? And that's yes, exactly what definitely. happened. Okay, yeah. good. Good, good. Um, talking of everyone laughing, uh, something cool actually did happen to me this week. I had my first in-person D&D game since January 2020, Yay. which was super exciting. Um, uh, every other Thursday group plays where I got to play my elven wizard. Uh, no, not elven, sorry. My... Um, were you playing a wizard, Johnny? Oh, I mean, no. No. Surprise. No. Surprise. no. Surprise. no. Sneaky, all powerful. You know, it's such a different thing for you, isn't it's it? It's like the it's the closest you can be to being a DM without <laughs> yeah, being DM. Yeah. It's like, I think I just like to alter the fabric of your worlds, please. Can I be a <laughs> wizard? Um, so, yeah, it was lovely drinking some beers, chatting to some lovely people. People brought snacks. Uh, one of the players from our game brought a full tray of loaded nachos with meatballs and cheese and stuff. Oh, man. Uh, and homemade brownies. It was great. We had some Japanese beers. It was honestly just lovely. Like when everyone has their first D&D game, snack game is going to be like... Mm. Gotta yeah. be, isn't it? You've got really? to one-up, you've got to one-up always... each other. No, no, just nipping into Sainsbury's on the way. No, no, no. <laughs> the lunch <laughs> game's always been all. strong with me and our D&D game. Yeah. Stan can that attest to that. That is true. Ryan right? brings the lunch. <laughs> So we, so speaking of actually, um, mm. we we taught our dad. So it was my dad's birthday, our dad's birthday, Ryan and mine. Um, his birthday on the weekend, and on uh, on Sunday oh, hey. we taught him and our aunt, his sister. Uh, we taught them D and D for the first time. It was their first ever game, um, or at least their first game of five E. Dad thinks he's played it when he was younger, um, and they took to it really well. So it was like yeah. a really great thing. So we got to play in person for again for the first time, you know, since the start of the lockdown. Our, our auntie, um, we got we made her made her a bard, 
she she wanted to play a goblin so we set all that up and then we we're like okay really importantly what do you want to name your character she looked us both dead in the eyes and went buns <laughs> i was like okay i was like look bob like some people spend ages coming up with their buns no but i know i know yeah that's cool but some people you know go on to the next buns uh, name generator or no but she loved buns, buns that got me it spoke to her, love it. and that was what that's what we loved about what did you and play? new players Warlock. um yeah he was a warlock because he wanted to be a spellcaster he wanted to be a wizard actually but we right. were like let's just start him slow for yeah, you, know, time you, know, like... you need to be more sinister in some mm. way his name <laughs> his name is lord lendor and his is... name is basically his own name, but with Lord in front of it. So, <laughs> so it's interesting how everybody tackles it the first time, isn't it, with D&D? &D. Um, yeah, and my mm -hmm. fiance was like, which was really great to get her involved for the first time. She was like, uh, I want to speak to animals and, and help people. We were like, Druid, straight up. There you go. We've got a, we've got a healer. So we were really happy with that. So, uh, so yeah. So uh, just a, a last little thing. So Taj is asking Sean was a glass of milk for those chilies. Um, <laughs> fun fact, Sean doesn't really like milk, so he's going to suffer when he eats those chilies. We had a good conversation about almond milk when we met up, so yes. I will have a non-dairy milk, I think. And Tim Bob's is I the only reason he turns up to your games, Johnny, milk. is for the snacks. So, <laughs> you know, that him, it was actually his game. I was a player, <laughs> so... I've got a question now, actually. Almond milk's not going to work, because the whole point of almond milk is it doesn't have fat in it. Which oh, is the bit no. that binds to the, the you know what? Basin. Shouldn't have told him that, man. It'd have been hilarious. <laughs> <Couldn't> <laughs> have been hilarious. Chugging almond milk on stream. I'm going to make uh, some writer, the, the old traditional cooling agent, Indian uh, Asian cooling agent. No, not whiskey, although that would work. The second most traditional. <laughs> I'm gonna make, yeah, I'll make a writer. I'll have some yogurt. I'll have some, you know, some cucumber. It'll, it'll be, it'll be mm. grand. It'll and be speaking grand. of getting rife in there, Brad, shall we? Oi, oi, no. oi. Yeah, no, that's, you can't take oh. that away. Listen, no, that's, 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 that's the second that time he's tried that. That's the second time. I know, but it's the second time you've tried that now. The right is so good, gone. though. Right, Brad, you roll the bloody go. credits. We're going to have a word with the right. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> See you in a bit. Save me. And welcome back. In off-screen news, Ripper's dead. <laughs> Gone. Ryan's taking some time to think about what he did. <laughs> and, you know, really consider it. And he's welcome back <laughs> when he's his lesson. understood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Don't, I really want to see it on his face. If you, you do know, hear really... some screams during the stream, just ignore them. <laughs> Everything's okay. Just he's for the been benefit. swatted. Benefit for those on the podcast, Ryan tried to cut to the credits earlier. And... Yeah, he knows yeah, the rules. I run a tight ship. So, <sighs> oh god, he's gonna be hiding some of his little Bambi eyes, isn't he? Looking all sad. <laughs> right, come on, Ryan. We f we forgive you. We well, forgive you. yeah, I guess. There he is. Oh no, <laughs> oh, he's too handsome there to say is. no. Look at him, he big is. beautiful face. Right, <laughs> you right, mate. Well, let's just, let's just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's too convincing. People are going to think we actually chewed them out now. Wait, we didn't. Um, so, Sue, so, Sue, so, I don't know what the voice this is now. So, last time on the Blood and Song, um, you were teleported to the middle of the Darkwood Expanse and we're heading northeast, uh, northwest, sorry, to Wildshore, where you encountered a couple of centaurs on the road, uh, two traders, Grenix and her wife, Nikini. You helped them fix their wagon, examined their wares, discovered that they were legitimate and humble merchants. And then um, Sixsmith 
Had a little bit of a set two with Grenix for existing. Um, and uh, during the night when they had agreed to guard and escort these people to Wildshore, something snuck into the camp and stole Mykini's ring. You had legends of the beast of Wildshore and you followed large footprints all the way through the undergrowth, eventually agreeing to track down whatever it was. You came to the uh, trailing through the forest, you followed these, and you eventually came to a small clearing alongside a cliff where you saw, if I can count, six small cloaked figures, hooded figures, one of whom, I believe you passed on the insight check last time, was holding a large stick with hmm. like a bear paw on the end of it. And this have, is where we're pinning up. What would you like to do? Have seen us? Uh, well, you were all fairly well stealthed with Pass Without Trace. And you were currently about 30, 40 yards away. That's uh, feet away, sorry. Hidden among the tree line. Back. Back. Yes. I can hear you. Yes. Right, listen. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stop one of them. And then I need you soon as he's frozen to just get out there and tackle him yeah okay just Done. just like i'm talking like like you know when you're in your uh your monastery and you used to play sport and you would like rub up against each other or like in the evenings yeah. when the sensei would come in and pin you down really hard exactly. and slap you on the face over and over so again now, so now you're okay. the sensei you're the sensei okay okay sure right Johnny. Okay, okay. Anyone I'll just take make things, a Johnny. perception check for me, please. Oh, okay. Everyone can take one, apart from Ripper and Black, who are talking at this point. Bailey's only got five, so she's not seeing a lot. Five. <laughs> a Nine. Thirteen. With a thirteen, uh, Octavius, as you are kind of keeping the party stealthed uh, with your magic, you can just hear these tiny cloaked figures talking and uh, they're going through and you hear one saying do we get anything good is there anything in the pouch do we get anything good and goes mm, i don't know i'm looking through i just got a load of like looks like rotten apples but i've also got i got this ring and i got like a necklace and i got some paper anyone read can anyone read uh the one that has uh, so do i do i see the ring and the necklace. Well, you don't. You didn't see the ring because you were talking to Lack. But okay. as you turn back, you can see one of them has got a pouch and is okay. reaching in. So, can I? I want to do some military hand signals. <laughs> to six, make an insight check. To six, six. Um, saying for him to flank, sort of to the east, uh, while staying within the thirty-foot range of Pass Without Trace. Um, okay, I've got, got a seven plan. To... I've got a plan, guys. I've got a plan. I've got okay, a plan. six. What you see is indecipherable hand signals because you're from different militaries, um, and you just kind of figure he probably wants you to move around the other side. Okay, I I'll move around the other side. So just to kind of set the scene for you. In oh, this I'll give him some back. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Assuming he can understand me fully. But Make an insight check, Octavius. Of my own, obviously, in theory and hand. Sure. That is a ten. <laughs> um, just so, odd. just to give you a thing, you are heading essentially, or you're entering from the west. And as you move east into this clearing, you can see for Sixsmith to move to the east is essentially to move into the clearing. To kind of go south and around, um, there is, you would have to climb okay. what looks uh, to be I a... Yeah, I kind of meant to the right. I didn't realise. I thought we were coming yeah. from the south, so... No, you're kind of coming from southeast. Southwest, sorry. One day we'll be able to tell the difference between west and east. Kind of, but more west than south, if that makes sense. Um, there is a 25-foot... Um, slope that's kind of quite sheer. It's not quite a cliff. Cliff is overegging it, but it kind of drop uh, going up and over it. There's you can see kind of like moss and things growing over and tree roots coming out, and it's just a different level of the wood up there. 
Uh, I've got a DM question. Go for it. How loud do you have to speak a command for it to be verbal? Loud enough. Well, okay, so specifically, there is a sorcerer's ability, I know no one's no playing a sorcerer, yeah. which basically enables a spell to be said silently so no one else can make a perception check for it. What I would say is, if you are trying to do it quietly, you can roll a stealth check, um, or, yeah, stealth check, and that will go against their passive perception, because they are currently busy doing something yeah. else. Because I'm wearing armour, can and it's the dex is the same thing, can I roll it as Take it I straight, had? yeah. Yeah. Take it straight. Okay. What I would like to do is I want to use command. Yeah. On the one with the bag. Yeah. To basically say, like, hold. So he's just like, ah. and then okay. as soon as he freezes, that's the signal to lack to just get on him. Okay. Can, uh, yeah, make a stealth check then. Sixteen. Is that plus the ten? No, no, this is no, a it's... different kind of stealth. We're just oh, taking this yeah. as a straight stealth roll as he's trying to kind of mumble something quietly enough uh, that it sounds like passing leaves or trees or something. No, but the, that, the spell does that. It mutes sound. Oh, does it mute sa all sounds? Uh, then I'll give including you the spell verbal components, because I'd assume it would mute things like um, footsteps, footsteps and armor. If it also includes spells, I'll let you have it. Uh... Oh no, 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 it doesn't say. G give me the exact it, wording. It... Okay, a veil of shadows and silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. Yeah, I'll let you have the plus 10. Sorry. It. So cool. 26 then. What word do you speak? <clears throat> hold. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I believe they get a save? They need to make... Yes, they need to make a 15 wisdom save. Okie day. <laughs> minus one. <laughs> nice. They got a minus one as their roll. Cool. So they are frozen. At this point, I'm going to ask everyone to roll initiative. Sure. Let's go. Alrighty. Lovely. Much better. Much better. That's good. I'm happy with that. Oh, Next one. Now to natural 20. 20. That's brilliant. Great work. Really yeah, what, on initiative? Get... Now I have to come first. No, nope. you don't. Oh, That's okay. <laughs> it's fine. I prefer more time to think anyway. Uh, so I'll, I'll let uh, Johnny give the roll call before I... Okay, uh, right. Time. So, over 20. Yes, 24. Oh, 22. Ooh, I didn't roll for... Almost. <laughs> never. <laughs> Almost, but literally never <laughs> could I beat the monk. Okay. And uh, sorry, over fifteen. Uh, yes, eighteen, Ripper. Worked pretty well. Brad, what the? Where are you, mate? We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, over ten. Oh my God! Over five. Eight. Oh no! Oh, okay, good. Oh wow. Christine! Oh wow. <gasps> hey, that's perfect, Christine. Isn't it? You get a, plenty of time to plan your okay. answer. Being interested in the pixies. In this <laughs> case, I'm going to ask you, or oh, you're on there, I'm going to activate the map. I don't like the sound of the name that you've named the map, yeah. Johnny. Do you yeah. want to tell everyone what it's called? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, no. I wonder what we'll be fighting. It's just a place name, don't worry. Okay. So <laughs> it's just a place name because of the creatures. Because of the. <laughs> no, because of the dual nature of the place. Look at it. Uh, yeah, so sure. to uh, what you see in front of you is for all the people at home. Is essentially to the north, surrounding the north edge of the map, in kind of a semicircle, is thick fir trees um which is kind of 
unusual in itself. You've been used to the Glimmerwood trees, and you're kind of the trees are just starting to change as you get a little bit further north. The ground is muddy underfoot. Not enough that it's going to give you difficult terrain, just muddy. Uh, bits of grass showing through. There are a couple of kind of smallish ponds around with, you can see little bits of iridescence floating on them, and this large uh, embankment to your right, which is pretty, pretty steep. Uh, and you can't currently see on the top of that at the moment. So, Lack. The, we can see these um, small figures have kind of run out, and as one holds, its hood falls back off its head, and you see these things are about three feet tall, three and a half feet tall. Mm -hmm. So, Phaser, they're kind of your height. Um, they have dark red skin, or rather scales, that floats back and kind of small draconic looking heads and one of them with the bag just goes Hoo! frozen in place second boy okay i shall run 50 foot to Wait, uh sorry johnny can you just put out on the map which ones is holding the bag i, I did say it's the one in the center okay yeah. cool i'm gonna run to the east of that one in the center Okay. Possibly. Hang on. And... Running. So, just to check, because you've probably got enough movement, are you running around to avoid opportunity attacks? If possible, if I haven't got enough movement, I will uh, obviously 5, run 10, straight through. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 will get you directly to the east there without yeah. invoking opportunity attacks. Lovely. So you I see, like, to take on this zigzag run. <laughs> it's actually uh, the path of the cobra. And nice. uh, zigzags all the way through. And when I'm there, as I'm there, you can see his back flexing. Okay. And as I land on the ground, the arms all come out. And the idea here is for them to slap them down all to the ground. Um, okay. So, I mean, I'll do the damage as it normally comes out. And then I know I can only... At well, I could effectively attack them all, but let's just see. Um, it's all going to be non-lethal damage. Okay, and they, I believe they've got to take wisdom saves, right, when your arms come out? I Do I remember that correct? Dexterity saves. Dex so they'll probably saves. be okay with that, but um, it's a dex save. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and it's a 16 to save. Oh, that's cops. Okay, one saves. The one to the far north saves. Okay. All the others fail. Or well, the other three around you fail. Seven points of non-lethal force damage. Okay. And then that's my bonus action. So I shall attack the one who is uh, holding is held, and I'm going. Which to I try... believe has paralysed him, right, Brian? No, it's no, because you can't do anything bad to them. It's just, it's just commands. So we just. No, no, you just... can't. He can attack that, but the creature is currently paralysed, I believe, from the hold person spell. Oh no, it's command. Sorry, I thought you used hold person. No, it's not hold person. Told him it's to just, stop it's just walking. command. Right. Sorry. Just yeah. Like... Um, so I'm yeah. going to try and pin him down. Uh, so this is a grapple so check. A grapple. So it's just, but okay. because I'm using my arms, I can use my wisdom instead of my strength. Of course, strength. of course, of course. Um, they are going to use their mighty minus two strength bonus. Brilliant. So is it just a straight strength check? Yeah. Oh, I've rolled direct dexterity, but it's the same thing. Oh, I didn't not roll very well. It's a seven. Okay. So these four arms, uh, your arm, sorry, six arms now, uh, scroll around to catch the kobold in a grab. And the tiny creature ducks underneath, kind of grabs them, and it's almost like a David versus Goliath moment. Uh -huh. As they seem to hold it, they look you dead in the eye, and just as you're about to pull down... They kind of let go and duck underneath, nice. and your arms smash into the ground. So I spin around with my arms again for my second attack and do exactly the same thing. Will they get lucky twice in a row? I doubt it. Oh! <laughs> Is that almost a nat 20? From nat 20, two. Ah. Protect love, zero. I rolled 20, so I've been down this time. So as it ducks under one of your arms on the side, reaches down, almost just through your own body, and just pins it. I'm so not expecting the extra arms. That. Mm -hmm. um, I shall leave it at that, I think. Okay, so I'm just going to. Um, I don't actually have a grapple icon. I will use the prone icon for the moment. Oh, it selected them all. 
I love it when it does it. Okay, I'll just remember. So, that's your turn. Next up are two of the kobolds. The one to the north, seeing you rush in, is going to... Sorry, my new desk is going to be a little bit bigger. I can actually see things. So I was going to save that. Is going to look around. And I need Ripper, Octavius, Lack, Toots, and Phaser to make a dex saving throw for me. Uh, because those guys are within... Uh, 10 feet of me, you get plus 4 to that. I do not. Like you were right, you were probably I probably needed it, so I got a 12 with the plus 4. Oh no, I don't need to save. I don't need to save because I'm out of range. Do you think, am I, do I have to do a saving throw? Sorry. Yes, you do. Oh, and what was it? Wisdom? Dex. Dex. <laughs> Remember, at disadvantage because of your armour. Did I see him pull out the, uh... The back guana for the fireball spell. Toots and phaser. Did you? Okay. Make uh, this, uh, yeah, he's pulled out, make a perception check. Let's see if you saw it. Um, phaser and Toots both got 23. Okay. Well, I've rolled bad on my deck save, but I've got a natural 20 on the perception for 28. You absolutely <laughs> see it as you see one of them kind of pull out this thing, smear this Damn thing, it. and you see fire coming up. Counterspelling? I don't have Counterspell, I'm a druid. Right. Oh, right. Oh, well, you saw it. Um, yeah, I can see it coming. I know the other okay. one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, right. That's I was it. just checking to see if you wanted to do anything. <laughs> no, uh, I can't. 15 for Ripper. Okay, let me just add up. What was the save? If you... Uh, oh, sorry. Save was... Uh, DC 14. Sorry. 14, ah, yeah. I failed. Wow. Okay. If you save, you take 17 points of fire damage. I am um, okay. my... Um, I've got a reaction shield. Shield is for... Is um, the final time to finally use this. Yeah. Annoyingly, Christine. The one damage. time it's not no. helpful. It's, okay, shield's really good when that someone targets specifically spell. you. So if they like throw an Eldritch Blast at you or a Fire Bolt at you or a spell that's aimed just at you. In area of effect, it doesesn't change. Your armor, yeah. Yeah. It, it increases your armor call, class. So, yeah. It's yeah. never you... useful. No, no it's <laughs> really good. It is really Way useful. Yeah, if somebody fires a spell at you, right? Or Way something directly useful. at you, that's But this really is not because it's at the group. Think of it, it's like the shield's okay. basically like a, a, a shield directly in front of you. This is a burning fireball Grenades. in the middle Grenades of you that just explodes and it's trap yeah. fire shrapnel. Um, okay. so Whereas, like... not to take away from that, Christine, but I'm going to use my shield master evasion to take uh, and use my oh, reaction damage. to take no damage. If an effect allows half damage on success, yeah. you can use your reaction to take no and damage. And did you succeed on the save? Yes, I got a 90. Then you take no damage. Damn. If you failed, uh, 36 points of okay. Well, I damage. still only take 17 because I am fire yep. resistant. Yeah, of course. Fire of resistant. course. So it's just so, Christine that gets burnt the crap. <laughs> no, 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 I got I, burnt I as well. I passed the thing, so I'm all right. Okay. Got, we all got burnt by 17, basically. Yeah. The second one, the one to the west, sees the damage, sees you all standing and goes, oh crap! And then you see it kind of pulls this, itself apart and it just kind of pulls its skin and as it does, three more appear around it. Very clever, uh, very clever. And then it's going to run around behind this tree. Uh, that is their turns. Yeah, so the, so the one hard. in the northwest has that. Mi yeah, has as essentially mirror image. Has mirror oh, image. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to use yeah. the name. Would you but... mind just putting a little thing on that? Is that okay? I will attempt to. When a second go, I think it was being funny and grouping them. I'm going to use that. Yeah, see, it's grouping both of them oh, together for okay. some reason. Um, oh, they might be using identical. You might have just cloned the token. I know, I dragged them on separately, so it shouldn't have done. But foundry. Um, that's their turn. Six, you're up. Ripper, you're on deck. Okay. Um, I'm not fully confident that I know where that other one has disappeared to, um, but he was going to be my target. So instead, 
With my leaping long jump, am I able to to get the spellcaster to the north east? What's your long jump distance? It takes uh, ten feet of movement to activate it, and then you get. Uh, it is. Uh, a number of feet up to your strength score. So would that be the? 20? No, no. I've written it in your notes. I worked it out for you. Remember, in your notes, we were extras on your character sheet. I actually gave you. I figured out what your long jump you was. You did. Um, Sixty feet with a ten-foot run-up. Yeah, easy. So, boom! You can jump right over. With ten feet, you see six leap into the air, and it's a real kind of angly Hulk thing again as he just zooms across. Crashing down I'm in loving between. Loving the brothers' mobility. This is really mm. sexy times. Yeah, thanks uh, for those boots, Johnny. Um, I am gonna take a scimitar hit um, on the guy to the northeast. The guy it looks like he's got staff spellcastery type. Okay, roll. make an attack roll, please. Shall I? Shall. Boom. Oh, not bad. That's twenty-two to hit. Uh, that one will hit. Nice. Well, in that case, I shall do 10 points of, uh, what do I do? Slashing damage. Yep. And what does he look like? What's his sort of, what does he look like after his 10 points of damage? Well, it, it's, if we think of hit points less as like a you have cut him and more as a like wearing down of the stamina before they get so weak they can't spend, you bring this, uh, sword down and he has to kind of scramble out of the way having just finished letting off this fireball and you can see like a streak of blood down his arm it looks right okay well in that case i'll use my um i'll try and hit him for a shield master shove and i'll okay. try and render him prone so you got to make an attack roll again right i think so does it have to be what do i do just a standard attack roll i think so yeah um, and then if you hit I you knock him 10 feet back i believe so this is only the second or third time i've used this um you can use a bonus action to try and shove a creature within five feet of you. So it would just be however oh, right. okay. a contested so, shove would work. Yeah, so basically make an athletics check. Okay. I mean, it's going to go well. Well, I don't know about that. I got 11. Um, yeah, it got minus two. <laughs> Hooray! He's not very athletic. So you push the creature 10 feet back into the... Uh, kind of against the tree trunk as you come down slash and then just kick it in its tiny chest and goes <laughs> flying backwards. <laughs> so can I, um, how much movement do I have left? Um, unsure, but I will remind you, you've got your second attack as well. Yeah, so I, I, w I think I want to sort of do that thing you do where you sort of hit someone away from you and then follow them with your weapon and then uh, pin them to the tree okay, with my second Amazing. attack. That's yeah, go for it. You, uh, you only use 10 feet of movement to jump. And then uh, 60, but, and then it was Well, 60. I'm being funny with it, because technically jump is an action, mm. not movement. Right, okay. Kind yeah. of let him have it as his movement, but it's... Yeah, okay, okay. Um, in that case, I'll bring my scimitar in for a 21 to hit. On the... I'm uh, on, the spider. on the spellcaster, you're doing the fo go forward thing. Yeah, 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 I think so. Well, firstly, the one that is uh, currently grappled is going to take an attack at disadvantage against you as a reaction. Um, at disadvantage, that is going to be... Ding! Uh, 23. Yeah, he'll take a little swipe at me as I go fast. Okay, you take... <laughs> four points of piercing damage. He. <laughs> The one kind of just lashes out and yeah, just I'll kind of manages that. to catch you a little bit in the back. It doesn't actually cut you through your armor, but you just feel it a little bit. Turns out wounded. it's like Mary stabbing the Witch King in the <laughs> leg. Uh, make your attack roll again. So it was 21, didn't you say? It Four was. Thing? It was. Right. Yeah. The other one is going to use their reaction and cast Shield. So your Simsar comes <laughs> down. <laughs> Thanks for that, Christine. If it wasn't for you and your use of Shield, then we, we wouldn't be having it uh, right Hey, now. look, if Shield was useful, I'd have used it. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens, so do I still do an attack roll? Uh, no, okay, right. Basically, oh, it, that cheeky bugger. it adds five to the AC, which with its mage armor means it it gets over your um, attack threshold and okay. it has an AC of 22 until its next turn. Oh, or 23. Yeah. so close, yeah. Okay, cool, all right. 
Okay, that's your where turn. Where do you want me to end? Where, where do I end my turn? Okay, where I am now. Yeah, because yeah, you the tree line. line. Yeah, it's yeah, cool enough. Good. I'll let it happen. Thank um, you. Uh, I keep looking at it right. Let me cross this out. I still have your stealth rolls, and I think they're your initiative. <laughs> cool. So, well, I thought I thought we could just maybe be like, oh, wait, give us the stuff back, but they launch a fireball at us, so fuck them. Uh, and Ripper's going to sort of... So, the one that's in the middle, yeah. can you just move me just north a square of it I that should put me 10 feet 5 10 15 20 25 30 will get you to there uh he could i've not gone past this other one to go just to the right one because okay, well, were... then i'm within 10 feet of both of them basically so 5 10 15 20 25 30 will get you there okay well, I was gonna, and he's fifteen feet away, isn't he, from me? No, he's ten feet away from you now. Oh, what the one to, next to Lack? Yeah, ten oh, feet away. And just because because he's grappled, do I get an advantage on an attack on him? You do, yes. Cool. Well, then I guess I know who I'm gonna hit then, don't I? <laughs> uh, let us do it. Do it to me, baby. 13. I guess that's going to miss. It does miss. And then I'll try, even with advantage, I'll try, I'll try and hit him again then. 26. Yeah, you're good. Okay, lovely. So. 10 points of slashing damage. Okay. Wow. And then I imagine uh, I can follow up with Polar Master. Yeah, you got a bonus action. Yeah, I do. Because I haven't done nothing else. 20. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Cool. So that is going to be. Um, oh, for some reason, so. With the weapon you gave me, it's not showing up on Polar Master, which is annoying. That's right, then just calculate it manually. So it's 5 plus. Uh, It'd be plus your um, normal weapon attack, basically. Plus 4 With then. It. So yeah. it's. An additional 8 points of damage. Oh, it's appeared now. It's plus 3, sorry, so it's 7 points of damage. 7 more points. Ooh, good round. <coughs> oh, pardon me. And that would be <coughs> the end of my go. So, uh, Lack, you see Ripper kind of run up, pull out his glaive, and just bring it down. Um, the kobold does thing where it splits its legs and it just goes in between. <laughs> Classic. And then Skip looks up, episode. Ripper flips it around and just bashes it on the head with the other end. And it's kind of there, just kind of dazed a little bit and floating around. Is that your turn, Ripper? Yeah, that's all I can do. Thank you very much. Move uh, action and a bonus action. Yep, I'm all good. Okie day. Well, the other two. Uh, and this is the four kind of smaller kobolds or mm -hmm. non-caster kobolds are going to run bit. in and uh, that one's going to go there, one's going to go there. Actually this one is going to move, so wait sorry it was there wasn't it? It's going to edge round to <laughs> there and they are going to both rush up to the both of you and go, HA! We're getting out! Uh, and... as it... <laughs> no, it's only when it moves away, right? Not when it moves in. Yeah, it moves away. Yeah, so, although, Johnny, I did... I do have 10 foot reach. Yep, you can take an attack of opportunity against it. Is that okay? Yep. Yeah. Normally, you're supposed to be at disadvantage when you're grappling another creature, but as you're doing it with spectral hands and it's a kobold, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 24 to hit. Yeah, yeah that'll hit. Two. 11, ooh, 11 points of force non-lethal damage. Okay. Um, so the first one is going to make uh, an attack roll. These are the two attacking you lack. The first roll is... Mm -hmm. Get me my... Oh, I can't see it. There we go. Uh, it is going to be... Plus five. There we go. 22 to hit. Hit. Very good. Ooh. Is that the one on the floor? Or the one... This is the other one. Uh, the one just behind okay. you is going to basically run up with its dagger and then it gets that as well. Ooh, not a great roll. Nine. 
15 points of piercing damage. Damn. Yeah, Ouch. as it runs in, attacked. pulls out two like daggers, one of my and just goes <laughs> behind you. Uh, the other one is going to right. make an attack at you. It does have advantage, but it also has disadvantage, so it's a straight roll. Fine. <laughs> Misses. Whiffs completely. Goes to get its daggers, and they're just pinned against it, so it goes. <laughs> Um, two are going to have a go at you, Ripper, as well. Sure. God for the advantage. 22 to hit. It's going to hit. Um, and that's going to be... Oh, first the sneak attack. Uh, 11 plus 13. 14 points of piercing damage. Fine. And the other one. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh, 18 to hit. That hits. Wow, getting lucky. Well, they've got advantage. Counts. Oh, that was so bad. Um, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen points of sneak attack damage. And they are going to... Oh, yeah, because you got hit by a fireball. Right, sure. Uh, they are going to stay where they are as they both kind of run up and both... <laughs> with their daggers either side of you. Kind of screaming, How do you, what, what, this is us, what are you attacking us for? Uh, Octavius, you're up, Phaser, you're on deck. I don't know whether it goes down for the really cool idea or to just heal Ryan. Always do the cool <laughs> idea. Cool idea. Ryan can cool just roll on the character, cool right? Cool idea. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hear them. Cool have, idea. Oh. We'll just bring Ryan play, up in a minute. I'm gonna have to play the nice fine. guy. Okay, so I'm gonna use this healing word at second level. Okay. For ten plus Ooh. eighteen points of healing. Nice. Nice. Um, and then... So that's what that feels like. <laughs> and then, as an action, I suppose I will firebolt. Uh, which one's the most injured surrounding Ryan? Um, the one that took the attack from Lack to the north is looking a little bit worse for wear. Okay. So I'll firebolt that one then. Uh, so that will okay. be a. 15 to hit. Just hits. Nice. AC of the um, small rogues is 15. For a piddly <laughs> 6 points of fire damage. 6 points Six of is good. fire damage. So as you release this firebolt, you see it just kind of hit, um, just kind of fly over Ripper's shoulder and duck down. Like if you're casting warp in Mass Effect where it just ducks. And it kind of creams into this creature's shoulder and goes, ah! And you see this kind of spark of burn going off, and he's looking around frantically now. Would you like to move at all? Uh, no, I will. Well, yes, move me ten foot to the east, please, away from Phaser, so I don't get caught in another way. We. Okay, five, ten feet to the east, so essentially you're ducking right in against the... Oh, that looks like you've gone up. Uh, right in against the... Yeah. Um, I keep calling it a cliff edge, the embankment. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. Phaser, you're up. Black, you're on deck. Um, so, I would like to move so that I am just within 30 feet of the two um, kobolds that are next to Ripper. So okay. 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you want to get within 25 got, or 20. 30 feet? No, I, I've got 25 feet of movement. Yeah. I want to be within 30 feet of them. That, so that 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, that easily gets you within 30. Okay. There. Um, and Phaser is going to pull out the sticky chicken. Hey! And she, hey. Is, going to, she is going to hold it above her head. Yeah. Um, and uh, she's going to use her bonus action to say, Kobolds, cease fighting before I unleash Silverthorn's sticky chicken. The Thieves' Bane, and my action will be held <laughs> to um, set off the Sticky Chicken if okay. um, they don't listen. 
Make. Oh wow, there's a good chance they won't listen though. So <laughs> make a deception check. Oh god, this is gonna go well. You shouldn't have added that bit on the end about being thieves' bane, right? <laughs> that would have it been persuasion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it is a thieves' bane because it for an hour you squeak. <laughs> like, so I'm not okay, lying. Okay, I tell you That's what. A good point. Interesting. Yeah, As Faisa would think about that. this, and she's a deeply intelligent gnome. You can make persuasion or deception your choice. I mean, to be 100% honest, there's no difference in the bonuses. Oh, yeah, I didn't expect there would be. <laughs> but, you know, spiritually, you'll know okay. that. <gasps> Natural 20! <Yay! laughs> oh, really? Nice. Brilliant. Absolute okay. Classic. Well, that happens. Um, we'll find out what happens on their turn. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. So you're holding. What's the, what trigger are you holding for? Um, I if one of them tries to attack, um, um is, do I have to be really specific with who it has to try and attack? If you say one one of them is attacking my allies, well, if you yeah. you're within range to get the both of them by Ripper, so you okay. could say attacking Ripper yourself or Octavius. Okay. The others are probably a bit too far away. You could set the chicken okay. off, but it might not reach them. That's all right. Okay. In which case, um, yeah, I will hold it. Uh, if one of them attacks one of my allies, then uh, I shall set it onto one of the ones that are in range. Okay. Brilliant. Uh, is Toots going to do anything? Toots is going to come up and stand. I think he's going to move to be within five feet of me, probably just north of me. Or Faser, okay. sorry. Um, and she is going to hold uh, Force and Power of Ren. So if somebody if somebody tries to attack Phaser, she's going to Gotcha. Would you like her, more of her sort of movement. north, sort of there, so she's directly in between you and all the... No, just just, just directly north of me, I think. Just directly north. Uh, Phaser, okay. sorry. Um, and her held action will be to get up close to whichever one she can reach in range and then do force and power. So she can hold a movement or she can hold an attack. Oh, I see. Sorry. Um, it's okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Force and power renders a melee attack, isn't it? So. It is. Because you've kind of used part of your movement and you can split your movement so she could move up there now and hold an attack or she can stay where she is and hold an attack or hold a movement. Mm. Yeah, just get her to move up to you within five foot of the kobold that is south of Ripper. Okay. Um, and then she will hold that force and power. Will she look menacing? I don't know. Can well, she look she menacing? Can... I'm going to... She's yeah. about the size of the kobolds. So as from yeah. their perspective, it's a giant metallic she's foot... pangolin. She's about mm. four foot high. Her back is about four foot high. She's taller than the kobolds, yeah. They're about <laughs> three and a half feet. I mean, her head's about midriff because she's curved like that, but... Mm -hmm. yeah. anyway. Fantastic. Black. You are muted. I am muted. Uh, I'm going to continue to uh, pin this one down on the floor. Yeah. And I'll push into it and kick backwards with my legs. So like a like a donkey kick almost. Ah, yeah. That's head behind okay, it. so if you make another grapple check and succeed on the one in front of you, it will become restrained. At the moment, remember because well, like, we've got the weird bollocks in 5e of grapple basically just gives it disadvantage. Restraint mm -hmm. reduces okay. its movement to zero. Mm. Okay, well I will do that then. Okay. I thought it was the opposite. Uh, suppose. No. I thought it was the opposite. I think its speed is at zero now, but then it will become disadvantage. No, grapple, it gets disadvantage on attacks, definitely. Restraint. Uh, grapple grapple definitely reduces zero. its speed to zero. Oh, have I got it the wrong way around? Oh, well. <laughs> You've probably thought about I'll it being have... the way that you opposite way of what you thought it was. Yeah. And that's well, yeah. Well, they're both, they both should be one thing anyway. They should yeah, be two different things. Yeah, it should definitely things. be one thing. To be, to be fair, Johnny, uh, grappled a, street, a speed creature zero, restrained a speed creature zero. Other way around, a oh. creature speed is zero. So right. it's, yeah. Much of a muchness. But <laughs> restrain it, it, it's doing shit all isn't it and as you've got two attacks it's up to you you can take two attacks on the one behind you if you like uh, i'm just i'm gonna kick the one behind me first okay That's make an attack roll uh let's do that uh, arms, so can you only restrain once you've grappled is essentially what it is yeah it, it's so like, it's like phases grapple is something. almost like a hand to the throat right and then restrain, restrain is then you've like got, you've yeah. got hold of yeah. them okay right you've got hold of them and then you're gonna yeah um so it's 22 to hit yeah that hits um which i hope is a hit and then 10 points of force non-lethal damage okay like kick under its chin which you do and then i shall i shall like that's almost like i'm going to continue it. i'm going to kick 
backwards and then like a guile spin kick. I'm going to keep going over the top and I want to go over the top of that uh, kobold. And because I've hit it and got mobile, I don't uh, take a tax opportunity. Okay. To land to the west of it. Uh, no, Sorry. the other one. So yeah. I was pinning the one down on the... Yeah. And I will hold that bad boy down still, and then I will kick the one next to Ripper as well. As I land, one of my fists will come down. Ripper it, make an attack roll. Uh, make an attack roll. Well, try. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, 14. So as you flip over and you bring your foot down, that's just at the moment, it kind of looks over its shoulder to, or kind of twists its body just as it sees this giant, from its perspective, mechanical pangolin running at it, and your foot just sweeps <laughs> past its head. Lucky work. Just misses. I will make my um, my free bonus action to bring an uppercut. Tiger uppercut! At it. Okay. Oh, for Christ's sake, it sees me coming. 11. So this uh, time it does so it. And just I was ducks. just a bit off. Yeah, the okay. cheeky thing that I'm pinning down is just wriggling too hard. And that's my go. So, it's now the turn of the magic users. They're going to take perception checks to see if they heard Phaser. Okay. So the first one goes, Not the sticky chicken! Oh no! And just runs <laughs> north. Brilliant. <laughs> and as far as you're concerned, you see five kobolds just disappear. Um... The one that's up against a tree with Six's sword, it looks at you and goes, I surrender! It just puts its hand up. That is its wow. turn. Six. Uh, okay, I would say something. Six says something like, uh, You want to know what Mother had to say about thieves? And then he goes to knock it out. Make a non lethal attack. Just go for a. Uh, just to knock this dude out. So it'd be a 16 to hit him. That hits. Oh, wait. Oh, no, he's just had his turn again. Yeah. Um, but how many spell slots has he got left? Oh, he's surrendered. No, he's not going to He's not gonna <laughs> do it. It's what, Hopefully it's quick enough to just be like, you surrender, bang, you know, knock yeah. him out. Um, it's 12 points of damage. How, does it, how, do we, how do we work out sort of knocking someone out? Okay, well, he's not knocked out yet. You just whack him and goes, oh, oh. You have to reduce them. You have to reduce them to zero and then say you're doing it non-lethally, basically. I understand. I'm basically it taking that you are attacking non-lethally unless you specify yes. otherwise. It yeah, is sure. Well, in that case, I'll try and sweep him with my shield and try and actually, because I think with a shove action, you can choose to if they're your size or one larger. Oh, but this not, is small. Yeah, so I'm going to try and knock him yeah. prone at okay. least. Um, with a swipe, which is an athletics check. Yeah. Try and get this a bit slicker as I go. Ten. Yeah, works. Got a nine. Oh. Okay. Knock him prone and attack him again. Uh, you will have advantage on this attack. Uh, so that is twenty-one to hit. Yep. And. 13 points of uh, damage from the blunt end of my blade. If this okay. guy's still up, that's that's fair enough. I he have a lot more going, Oh, I already surrendered. Why are you still hitting me? <laughs> oh, man. Just oh, lying well, on the floor, weeping. This poor guy. Like, yeah. his, his hands just twitching with magic. This poor, poor kobold. Um, well, there's very little like there's very little else I can do. I think you've used your bonus action, haven't you? I with have, the I have, yeah. and oh. my, um, I'm not going to burn a slot trying to knock this guy out. He's already well, surrendered. I, I will let you know, Metally, he has two health, two HP. Oh well, then uh, as <laughs> as a as a free action, I will look very very angry at him. Maybe okay. that'll take a couple of hit points off. Of I thought. Okay. I thought so ridiculous. I surrendered. <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> And he's still six, alive. I, said I thought I Six would be impressed if this guy could take a beating like that. That like, is true. That is that. To be fair, he, yeah. Okay, so I, a Six would absolutely be impressed by this guy. Um, yeah, I'll hold him by the scruff of his neck, a few feet from the ground. You know. Okay, Rippy, you're up with, with flavour. Uh, all right. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold. 
Ripper's gonna like put his weapon into like sort of in his side, not like not like hearing the other one surrender. He's gonna be like, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my action in case they try and attack me, mm -hmm. and then I'm just gonna be like. Why? Why? Just it's clearly been a misunderstanding here. Uh, I won't attack you anymore unless you attack me. Okay. Anything else you're doing on do your you turn? Want, do you want me to make a roll for that? Like a. Um. Sure. Make a persuasion check. It's a natural twenty for a twenty-seven. Oh, is that two nat twenties in a row on persuasion for the party? My God. Okay. Take our way out of it. That's mm. way. Well, pretty much, yeah. Um, okay. And that will end my go. I'll stay where I am. I trust them. Next up are the kobolds, the uh, rogues or thieves who are just there. All their arms are kind of ready, apart from the one that's just pins down. They go. We surrender. And just stick their arms in the air. Please don't hurt us. <laughs> and... I think someone else should sick should just keep pounding this guy. <laughs> for the moment, uh, that is not what I was looking for. For the moment, I'm going to say combat is going to initiative is going to end as you have asked them to surrender, and they have surrendered very easily. Well done, folks. Mm. Mm. I like oh, I, I like the jack use of the sticky chicken. Yeah. yeah. I like the Jack and Daxter music still. going on there as well. Good choice. <laughs> not Jack and Daxter. I must clarify that. that no, is... it's not. It's very similar though. <laughs> the copyright <laughs> infringingly close Jack and Daxter music. <laughs> Thanks, Siren. Available through um... Escape. Epic games do need epic sound. Um, okay. So uh all right. Um couple of things. Hello, my name is Ripper. Lovely to meet you. Um we'll let you be on your way. You just stole something from someone we were protecting, and that's not on. So we're going to need the ring and the jewellery back, and any healing potions you've got to reprimand the damage that you've done on me and the rest of us. And then you're free to go take whatever well, else is in that we'll, sack. Wait, we're, we're Ripper, we need everything that they took from the tent, not just oh, yeah, the jewellery. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's what I said. Everything they took from the people. Like, the other people they stole from, I don't really care about, right? Because, you know... But it's just got, the two you centals. Got, you got, you got to eat, you know, you got to eat an apple here and there, you know? Um, I'm sure lack at the monastery they told you, you know, sometimes you've got to take an apple to, to seed an apple, right? Well, they used to do that, the, the lesson, you know, where you used to have your food and then since they would take it away and you wouldn't eat for like three days, you know, that yeah. lesson. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, um, so, yeah, anything, uh, I'm sure, you know, we're, 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 we're being fair here, you know, we're not trying to, we're not turning you into the feds, right? We ain't that type. And uh, or forest feds, whatever they yeah, are. What are the feds? <laughs> you know, it's what like, does it stand uh, for? The feds. That's what I want to know. Um, it stands for full enforcement denizens, right? Um, I thought you'd go with forest, seeing as you already said <laughs> oh, yeah. forest. But, forest yeah. enforcement. <laughs> oh, God, denizens. I had something to do. <laughs> It's not easy. Uh, yeah, someone look, in the chat will come up with what the feds <laughs> need. I'm sure. Look, so we ain't we ain't trying to take everything from you. We ain't going to kill you anymore. We just need the stuff we took from the centaurs, and then a couple of things to heal us up as an apology. I mean, we don't have any healing potions, but you can have the stuff. Just don't, just don't, just don't put the chicken on us. Phaser, now, Phaser see, holds here's it very the thing. Goes, mm. Here's the thing. I will I will promise you I will not put the chicken on you. But you see her? I can't be accountable for the crazy thing she does. Right? Right? She has caught more people with sticky chickens, right? Mm. Than there has been chickens that have been sticky, you get me? No. Exactly, right? Have you even heard of her? Okay. Uh, I haven't even heard of a sticky chicken. Exactly, right? Because it's so powerful and so secret. And so special that it actually gets covered up, yeah, by the feds, right? So no idea what you're talking about. Please, exactly, please take right? the stuff back. So give us the stuff out. and get out of here. Otherwise, she's gonna stick a chicken. Yeah. Cut to the one underneath six. He's going. Please <laughs> stop. <laughs> Can I give him like a flavor, like bash, to knock him, knock him out properly? You know, one of those things where like there's always a goon, like. 
<laughs> and you knock him out to carry on the conversation. Sure. For flavour, <laughs> you knock this one out. <clears throat> Just drops to the ground. Oh, six. Oh, I Ripper. told you not to kill any of them. I <laughs> thought we were just going to leave them alive. Yeah, well, I couldn't help myself. We're all killers, huh? Oh, Ripper, I'm so scared. Uh, Phaser is so dangerous. Oh, no. Make a deception check. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't ask me to do that. Mm. I'm going to say actually with advantage because they're already pretty terrified. Well, that was, and you that did was just lucky because bash that one was of their a terrible roll. <laughs> That's, a t that's still a terrible roll. It's 10 on my deception. Okay. Um, one of them kind of side-eyes you a little bit, and the others are still a little bit fixated on this tiny gnome, her giant mechanical pangolin, and the thieves' bane she wields. Um, <laughs> right. So... Lack. Lack, the, um, the one that you're holding had the bag for the items yeah. in. Yes, and he's going to let go of it now. Correct? <laughs> yes, sir. Um, you got anything that? in your pockets or anything you've taken out of the bag? Uh, lots of stuff in my pockets. You can have it all. Do, just the stuff that you may have stolen from our our people. Yeah. Okay. In fact, all of you empty your pockets as well. So all they go into their pockets, on. and everyone's like, um, "I got some worms. I got some stones. I got some shells. I got a pine yeah, cone. Me, yeah, yeah. Give me those pine cones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just got one. He's just playing hardball, you know, to try and scare him. Yeah, yeah, I'll take okay. a fine con. So on. they essentially pile up a small uh, pile of detritus. Mm -hmm. um, if this were an RPG, this would go into the junk oh, man. Yeah, column classic. instantly. Of uh, just, you know, things that you can string. sell, but you never do just in case it's really necessary for <laughs> yeah. some random side. But place, maybe yeah. this is an Easter egg, and if I combine yeah. two random items, exactly. yeah, no, the broken sword players in us just ruins. <laughs> uh, any random items so yeah they love this they you also recover the goods from the centaurs you see again the sack of quite putrid food and uh just a couple of items of jewelry including the wedding ring uh take the jewelry take the the ring i take the foot as well the the bear's foot one as you take the bear's foot on a stick uh one of them just you hear one of them just quietly not aggressively or confrontationally goes Oh, we're not going to get to be the beast anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Instead, right? But listen to me, right? You are a beast, right? You see that worm down there? Yeah? The one that's wriggling yeah. around? Yeah. Right? I see it. I see it. To, to that, you are a beast. In the same way, the E, and I point to six, is a beast to that one over there, who's the one that's knocked out. <laughs> right? <laughs> same thing that E's a beast, Tim. Yeah? So you got to think about it this way, boys, right? Uh... You know, it's not always about trying to eat up the food chain, right? You're always bigger and scarier than something. You've just got to find out what that is. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Hey, worm, listen to me roar. And it goes to roar. And as it roars, the loudest roar comes out of its mouth. It's oh. deep and guttural. And throat. You know, maybe you shouldn't have given these guys so much agency. I was yeah. going to say, did you just, did you just uh, seriously yeah. just fucking Lion King us? Uh, perception check, did you say? 27. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. That, that was the... 28. That's the best, wow. best roar I've ever Ooh, heard. Oh, I'm going Brad. south London now. Octavius, well, basically, anyone who gets over 16, you look up at the ridge as Ripper's looking at this roar. I, I think and... it's this, I think it's this kobold. Sure. And uh, everyone else, you just <laughs> look up uh -oh. and you see <laughs> outlined <laughs> against the mist a three-headed dark oh. shape. And that's where we're going to cut to break. <laughs> I wonder oh. what it is. <laughs> no way. <laughs> right, we will we see out? you soon, folks. Uh, we'll see you in a few minutes and we'll yeah. find out what this thing is. I'm excited. <laughs>
Hello and welcome back. Um, so, as you look up, having just successfully de-armed and uh, pacified a pesky group of cobalt thieves with some frankly outrageous persuasion checks, I was like, yeah, this isn't happening. And then two nat 20s in a row persuasion, <laughs> I was like, I guess this is happening. Um Ripper was obviously doing the Ripper thing and trying to instill a little bit of belief in the kobolds that he's just beaten up and uh, got one to believe that it could be a beast. And as it roared, several of the party, not Ripper, heard a sound from the top of the embankment. Looking round, what you all see is a large creature. Maybe eight foot high. It has three heads. One of which looks like a a little bit like the kobolds, but kind of electric blue. One of which has a misshapen it almost looks like a head of uh, a creature with kind of like a flat lizard with these incredibly bulbous eyes on top. And the third one, in the middle, is a lion's head. It looks over, and as it roars, it is going to fly above you, over, and swoop down. I think that'll do Swooping is bad. (laughs) And I need Ripper, Lack, and the three kobolds to all make constitution saving throws. Plus four, right? Plus Did four. you say electric blue? One of the heads. <laughs> oh, I hate you. Um, yeah, DC, con- DC 15 con save. So, um, just... Oh, oh. For your own edification, uh, Ripper, are you considering the Cobalt's allies in this, or are you standing them down? They're still enemies. This is up to you. I feel like we had a chat with them. Yep. You know, I, I've inspired one of them to think he's bigger than a worm, you know? Uh, you, don't, you don't do that to true. anyone who's an enemy, you know, do you? <laughs> oh my god. Doesn't matter, mate. I mean, I don't oh, think it no. really doesn't matter. Just after Ripper, like, falling in love with them and their best mates, <laughs> he's, gonna have like, he's still, he's still roaring at the worm. He's still like, roaring at the worm. Like, yes, mate. And he just turns to ash in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is, as it flies down, the kind of flat, wide lizard head with these bulbous yellow eyes um, that almost look like pom-poms on top of it, it opens a maw that gapes across the entire side and you see the mouth itself is flat and wide like a large toad and it bellows out um, and it sends this billowing black ash smoke all over all of you and um, if you fail you feel yourself move to turn and you look down at your skin and see almost like grey scales appearing on it and it appears like stone is starting to form on your body, and you are Shh. restrained. Johnny, is oh, that, who's is failed? Thematically considered a disease. Nope. No, that's completely separate. Nice try. Uh, who got? Who failed? Sorry. So this was Ripper. Ripper, uh, La- uh, Ripper you failed, right? I failed. Yeah. Uh, Lack passed, mm-hmm. and the kobolds north of Ripper, and the two to the west. Uh, east of Black, they failed. So you'd basically see these kobolds. Holy crap! How big was that? How big was that thing? That was like a twenty-five foot cone. <laughs> Mother, okay. It is going to carry on flying over and uh, how, just land. How high ahead is is it? It's currently about. Uh, let me get my range correct. It's, uh, yeah, it's currently about 30 feet above you. And it's going to crash down. That is its turn. Lack, you're up. 
Have we gone straight? Have we gone straight to the top of the round again? Oh, You're back no. in initiative. I'm not going to say reroll. We'll use the same order we've got. Oh. Right, six is, six is directly behind, so we're flanking, right, at the moment? Yes. Okay. So I am going to have to try and batter the life out of this thing, aren't I? I'm going to use my... Oh, no. I've got... Uh, You've got your arms out, yeah. Okay. I've got my arms out. Mm-hmm. But... I think I might have to do something first. Um, okay. I am going to hold on to my spear. Yeah. And having seen what that kobold did before and remembering, and I glitch like the Matrix. And there's, there's lots of me, so I can't quite tell where I am at any particular point. Just uh, roll me a d100, please. Oh, mother! I thought this was safe from that. Right. <laughs> oh, Balefire would be pretty cool to take this thing out. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, it would be fucking cool. Myself. No, that is 86. 86? Mm -hmm. 86. Don't say it like that, man. Okay, <laughs> all right. So as you activate the spear and the rest of you see Lack glitching, almost blurring and appearing in several places at once, you'll find out what happens. Oh, man. Uh, I don't think... Oh, after you... Oh, no, I haven't taken the attack action, have I? No, you have used your action. You just have a norm, any normal bonus actions. Okay, I am going to... And a move. And a movement, of course. So I'm going to roll around to the east of him. Okay. Um, that one up as well, please. So basically, okay. so he'll struggle to um, attack everyone at once. Okay, that is your turn. Now it's up to the kobold sorcerer. Who is unconscious on the floor? <laughs> oh no! Oh, Why no. did I? But I mean, we did say it was just for flavour that I knocked him out. So. But you did mechanically knock him <laughs> oh, out. Oh no! I did. Um, so he is mm -hmm. unconscious on the floor. It'd be really handy to have another spellcaster around now. Um, that's his turn. Get him Six. Up. You're up. Um. So traditionally, how could like? Is there a way of traditionally rousing someone? I will let you use your bonus action. So, uh, because we said we were mechanically knocking them out rather than killing them, he's essentially still on one HP. You can just like nudge him awake and then take your actions. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, I just want to check that my yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, I will. There you go. There you go. As I lift him up, I'll sort of lift him <laughs> up as if he's like a child who's fallen over during PE. <laughs> um. Right, so I might need we some help with this one. I'm going to try and yeah, just prop him up against the tree as he's waking up. Um, so that would be my bonus action. I would like to leap up. I, how high up in the air is this horrible you know, it's, creature? It's landed down by you. Oh. It basically like, crashed into the floor by you. That's, that is perfect. So in that case, I'm not going to... Because if it's my bonus to, to rouse this guy, I'm not going to switch weapons, I don't think, to the butcher's shield. Um, but I'll, I will just lay into him with my scimitar, I think. Can you, not, can you not jump on top of him? Oh my god. I've not even... Look, go full Dragon's Dogma on this, uh, right? It, listen, if is... I may, that does sound rid ridiculously good. So if there's some sort You've of way... You've got movement. Me... I'll allow it. Um, I assume you're going to ask me to target one of the heads, or is that how, is that how we're going to do it? Where are you trying to land? Are you trying to land on the back? I'm going to try I will and... warn you... Just yeah. for the sake of the ball, if this thing takes up, uh -huh. you will have to make checks to stay on its back. Yeah, that's. I'm going to try it anyway, though. I appreciate that, though, but it's got. I've got I to may, try it, I, I may hit you with my next move. Totally worth it. <laughs> it probably yeah. is worth it. Probably is Can worth I, it. Can I? Well, what I might try and do is, I don't know if it'll work like this, because it is quite a big creature. I want to try and get near its tail and maybe try and sort of just go for its rump. It sort of, this is a Dark don't... Souls, you're not going to get a tail weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know what out of his heads yet, because I haven't clocked onto the battle. Like, I don't know well, where I'm going to go for it, The so. one that just petrified the entire legion of kobolds might be a good effort. And Ripper. 
and Ripper. Well, Ripper's not completely gone yet. None of you are completely petrified yet. You are currently restrained. Is there a scenario, and this is just a mechanical question, where I can jump on its back and potentially with an area effect, Bradley won't hit me? Is that sometimes how it I works? Can, I can, I can target it in such a way that it doesn't hit you if you're not in the centre of the beast. So I'm going to try and get just on its sort of, its, its rump. I'm not going for wings, I'm not going for the heads. I want to try and go for its, maybe its spine okay. through it. So Make an uh, athletics check as you attempt to jump and land on its rump. Because it's the place where I might be able to sort of... Well, it's the way you eat oh. an apple, isn't it? Jeez, Na- he's done it again. <laughs> Natural 20 plus 5. You're on its rump. You suddenly <laughs> see, um, as the creature, all three heads follow lack, blurring. Uh, six takes the advantage to jump, leap, land on its back. You are currently on its back. That's your movement. You still have your actions. I shall use my first action to attack. I will do 14 points... Uh, sorry, it's 14 to attack with my scimitar. Okay, so the first attack misses as you bring it down and it just Ooh, gink off okay. hard scales. All right, then I'm going to do this cheeky manoeuvre I've been uh, known to do. It has failed mm-hmm. before, but I'm going to um, try and... I, I, this wouldn't count as massive, would it? It would count as large, but does this it count as... This is large. Okay, yeah. so I think I can still um, whack it with my shield if it's just one size above me, if I... If I correct with the shove action. yeah this is one one yeah you can attempt to take the shove so i want to do this move that i sometimes do when i'm already on a creature where i sort of jump and whack it with my shield and maybe follow through with a sword attack if i you know if it, if it goes okay, okay so you're making an attack and you're going to use a point to turn it into a try and knock it prone yeah yeah well, yeah i'm going to use my shield master sh- oh i used i used my bonus as yeah you're right you're right um, no, that's fair enough. In that case, I'm going to try and I'm just going to see if I can get this thing with a with a second scimitar. Okay, attack. go for it. Yeah, thanks for that. So, not quite as exciting. It's a ten to hit. So, no. As again, you kind of bring it down, trying to just jiggle the scimitar in to find a place between the scales on its back. Uh, it looks like lion fur in places. It should be soft, but it's tough. Um, le- just before we move on, let me see if I can. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try and um, use my distracting strike with my battle okay. master maneuver. Um, uh, when I use a hit with a weapon attack, I can expend a superiority die to add the total to the damage roll. Oh, yeah. Well, I, don't, I won't do any damage. Uh, so, so when you hit with an attack, you've missed with oh, your attack. Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah. Mate, right. it's been so long since I've actually done a. Yeah, for sure. It's worth one checking. of these things. Yeah, yeah, thanks. In that um, case, I will stay where I am and hope that he does not take off in the next round. And okay. that Bradley doesn't burn me to death for my useless move. But I'm Ripper. on there. I'm on there. You are restrained. You suffer no other mechanical effects uh, yet. But the stone the stone skin is, is on me. It started appearing. Mechanically, because we've not encountered this before, you will take a save at the end of your turn. Ah, okay. If you pass, it disappears. Okay, fine, cool. If it fails... Well, I can't move, but... <laughs> Yeah, I can't move, but I've got the ring of frost, mm-hmm. um, so I'm going to fire a, a frosted ring attack at it. Okay, day. Uh, now, restraint, I believe, is disadvantage on your attack, so I've got it the other way around, right? So grapples, just movement zero, restrained is then disadvantage. Correct. The correct attack rolls against this creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Does it count if it's a spell, though? It is an attack roll with a spell, yeah. Okay, cool. It's a spell attack. So make an attack roll with disadvantage as you're attempting to lift your heavy arm up. Twelve. It hits and just the ice shatters against its wing and it seems to do very little. Yeah, it missed. Uh, yeah, you only get one cantrip per round, don't you? Mm-hmm. Although for some reason it's appeared under my attacks. Well, because it is a, an attack. Well, it's an action, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, fine. Uh, then... I guess I'll just try and... Okay, well, in fact, if that's the end of your turn, can you make another DC 15 con save? Do it, do it, do it! With your plus four, please! Oh, that's a 15! Yes! So, you see everyone else, the stone going up, and it does that thing where it goes up to his face, and then Ripper just flexes, and this stone just yeah. explodes outwards. White light. Yeah. White light. Sure. You are fine now, Ripper. 
lovely. Um, after you, it's the kobolds who are all just going to go, We're going to get our weapons now! And reach down and just pick back up their blades. Look at the manticore, terrified. Um, two of them are in distance to take a swipe. They're at disadvantage, but they do get advantage from pack tactics. Yeah, do it. As the one uh, Andrew Howlin pointed out earlier in the stream. Okay, uh, both of them kind of can't really leap forward, so they gingerly reach out and go, eh! Ah, nothing. Uh, they are both going to retake Please their con Please don't turn to stone. <laughs> Please don't turn to stone. I've just got to check his, his save. So one of them, you see the white light appear and he looks to be moving forward and then... Uh. As one of the uh, one directly to the south of Man's Core, who rolled a 15, but has a minus on his con, turns to no. stone. <laughs> and the second... Oh, hang on. Is it the, hang on. Is oh. it the one in the, on the west? Yeah. Oh, he's within the range. The one on the west. It's within that range of plus Ripper, four. who is his yeah. ally. So he doesn't, and he is now free. However, the one <laughs> to no, no, the no, wait, east... hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Sorry, you're on about the two by the Manticore. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. my my oar away. is only ten foot. Yeah, that's yeah, ten, ten, ten foot. Yeah, the, what, it's ten foot. Diagonal yeah. is ten the foot. The one to the south of it is ten foot. Oh, fine. Yeah. You so saved that one the pulled through. You saved uh, you saved the, the cobalt. other one. <laughs> yeah, he's too far. Uh, doesn't. And doesn't make it. So yeah. the other one goes, ah, I can do that tip! <laughs> and in, oh, no. uh, is frozen mid attack and rictus. The one you saved, incidentally, is the one that had done the roar. So you know. Well, you're you can see. He can roar. roar. Yeah. They can roar. So she could be a sheep. Rory. Don't currently know. Rory. Um, Rory. Yeah, that's what you have to nickname them, for sure. <laughs> Rory. Uh, <laughs> Octavius, you are up. Phaser, you are on deck. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, 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 God! Not. I don't know what this is. Uh, and I am going to soil my hands together, do a bit of a chant, and the storm clouds are going to gather Damn. 80 Damn. foot in the sky as I cast Call Lightning. Run. As, as these 60, <laughs> oh, as this shit. 60 foot dark cloud appears, 80 foot in the cloud in the sky, mm -hmm. and I point to a point on top of the um, stoned cobalt, the one that is petrified. Clever. Mm -hmm. And everything within five foot of that, so just the manticore thing, gets hit with the damage. Um, and the stone cobalt. Dex save, I'm assuming? Dex save, yeah, of uh, 16. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so he oh. still takes yes. seven points of lightning damage then. Nice. Does he? Does he? And, and this is where I was worried about the electric blue. <laughs> but it's always worth checking. These are the important things. So right? he takes how much? Seven 17. points. Seven. seven. So that's actually... already halved. That's already halved. It's halved again. Halved again. Yeah, I thought uh, so. Lightning resistant. As this lightning bolt <laughs> crashes down completely destroying Bye. the statue as it just shatters into pieces and arcs this just fizz off into the creature's face. You can see it kind of pull back a bit. Um, having seen that, it is going to take a mythic action. Uh, oh. What? Oh, what you you don't I legendary actions aren't good enough for you, Johnny. No. Mythic -like action. <laughs> what? Another petrification we're, breath. We're definitely at least tenth level to deal with mythic. <laughs> oh, no, of, course. <laughs> of course, we are. What is it? Mythic -like? No idea. So, this legendary is uh, actions Christine bosses get generally. And then mythic, mythic -like? actions are things introduced in Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. Oh, sorry, in um, Mythic Odyssey's mm. Theros. Mythic Theros. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. thing that are kind of one-off legendary creatures sometimes get. Yeah. How, how well, many times can let's they Let's genocide this. Um, no idea. Was, Depends. Yeah. The way it works knowing you. is um, knowing that, like legendary actions, they get a certain number per turn, and they have like a move list they can do. And the okay. each move list has a cost. So some things cost one uh, mythic action, some will cost two. Uh, they only have a total of three. So they some of them will cost three. So if they do like a really powerful attack, they can do that once. 
They can choose to move, they can choose to do various different things. Um, so it's not like they just get loads of extra stuff per town and can annihilate you. It, there is a balance. It's balanced, don't worry. You've got some allies. Well, no, I don't well, know. I away, genuinely so. have got no idea. No. So, but they, I'm but, out. But it, <laughs> well, but it really it's good. at the beginning of their turn. Is that right? Top of the um, top of the round. Quick top of the question, round, though, they get them do things okay. that have mythic um, actions also have legendary actions? Because that technically yes, oh, but I'm not. I will above the table. Not at level six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that I'm evil. <laughs> I'm not sadistic, right? <laughs> Wet. Yeah. Um, so it is going to That's use fine. two mythic actions to push its wings off and fly into oh, the air. God. Uh, and it is going to fly 30 feet up. Does that Lucky. go through your cloud, um, Brad? No, my cloud is 80 feet in the air. Like you get an op um, attack opportunity. Okay. Uh, six, can count. you make a? I'm just going to take it basically because it basically has like a trampling strength attack. I'm going to say you've got to beat that DC every time to stay on. Okay. Uh, can you beat a DC 17 strength athletics check? Oh, I like it. That means Use it, using the terminology that Gygax invented. I know. Um... What I, and, I, and that's just a, an athletic role, is it? Just if I'm yeah. using D and D Beyond. Okay. Um, and the DC was. Sorry, no. This would be a, um, a strength saving throw. So oh, okay. That should, that should okay. add your proficiency anyway, so it's not so bad. Okay. okay. DC seventeen. Oh come on! You'll like that. <laughs> oh mate. That's a nat twenty. So. That's three. Um, I'm that's, excited that's, about that. That's five nat twenties we've had this session. <laughs> I know what's going on. I've not rolled a single one in two sessions now. Must I be like the end echoes of the fourth oh, of July weekend. Oh what a shame! Weekend, right? That is such a shame. <laughs> not I'm in my natural... session as a player as well. What's gone wrong? Who's touched my dice? That is um, a twenty-eight in total. That is so amazing. The rest of you just see this powerful creature push off the ground. And you look over as for a moment, six is sent flying back. But actually, as the wings come down and you expect to see him falling, you look up to see him standing either side, one hand on his hip, holding <laughs> the lion's mane and just flying vertically. And he's glistening. <laughs> glistening. Uh, okay. Uh, I have rolled an 18. Now, my brother's on it. Does that count as flanking? It does not. Um, Good question, though, man. You're on top of it. <laughs> just hits. Oh, 18 okay. is its AC. Right, well, I shall do the damage and just. I hope it adds like 40 hit points or something then. <laughs> Ooh, okay. 14 points of damage with the spear. Mm -hmm. um, and because I want you to see it burn one of its legendary resistance, can it make a wisdom saving throw, please? Certainly can. Probably I mean, will. just asking for clarity. Is this against being stunned? Yes, it is. Okay. It's immune to being stunned. Of course, it is. Not mean. It's not immune to being stunned. Uh, wisdom <laughs> save seventeen. Ooh, just saved. Uh, okay, that's okay. It's okay. Good. It's not going to uh, do it every I'm round. But I thought as it takes off with my brother on its back, I might try and keep it on the ground. Laser. It's your turn. Oh, thank you. Before I do that, can someone please explain to me burning legendary resistances? So, yeah, so when a creature is legendary yeah. or mythic, yeah. it basically, um, because the way legendary creatures normally work is like six of you versus one creature. Okay. So the action economy of like, if Black could do what he did in the last fight where he stunned a creature, like that fight's over, it doesn't matter how tough the creature is. So yeah. legendary actions, a creature can just go, I choose to succeed. Up to a certain number of times. Usually okay. three. Some creatures have more, some have less. Um, well, I'm going to pull out my all-purpose tool, um, uh, which is still set for Eldritch Blast. Yep. So, um, and I get two beams because that's Make right. two attack rolls. Um, yes, and I want to try and go for the electric blue head. Yep. And the flat head, which I know you keep describing with its bobbly eyes on top. I keep imagining Kermit, but evil. Anyway, <laughs> so, you said flat head with the eyes on top. That's so, true. Yeah, the the lion true. head's actually got a little arm that goes up. And... Hey, yeah, hey. and it's pink as well. No, uh, yeah, it's like flat and uh, like a that kind of dark, almost black green. 
Evil, evil Kermit. Kermit. <laughs> evil Kermit, for sure. I mean, I was going Dark Souls oh, no, Pacifist, I don't want to dis whatever, disco against fine. any homebrew, sorry. <laughs> like that, oh, like so... that Sith Lord Kermit picture. That doesn't work. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> so that one was. This was blah, 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 blah. It's not going to work. Uh, 13, which didn't. I think that's No, that eight. one misses. So the first blast <laughs> streaks off into the sky. 19. Hits. Cool. So it's 1d10. Brilliant. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Nine or six? Why are these never clear? That's a nine. Nine points nine of four points. damage. So you see um, this. Um, this is at the flathead evil Kermit one because the first yeah. one was at the blue. And you see this bolt of kind of purplish light <laughs> streak across the sky and just take the head straight in the face. And <laughs> you see this burn mark in it and it it didn't like it. It definitely hurt it. There you go. Burn mark. That's good. Force hurts that one. Lovely. Um, and can, with my movement, could I please take cover? <laughs> of course. Because that's a bit of a hairy, scary one. Um, if I can go 25 foot north. Okay. Towards the trees up there. Mm. Not that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 will get you there. Did okay. you want to kind of move? I mean, just from where you were, you were better off in the tree in the south. Oh, okay. West, because you can duck yeah, behind then... that. Whereas if you're just running in front of the tree, you haven't yeah, actually but... reached cover. 5, 10, 15. I can't see the grid very well on my foundry. Oops, just turn myself around. Uh, how far does that take me? Am so I that was... still within 120 feet? That was 15 feet there. Oh, yeah, easily. Oh, yeah. oh very okay, easily. well then, yeah. let's do that then. Yeah. Um, and Toots is going to place herself, because Ripper's a little bit um, exposed. Um, I think Toots is going to to do force impale then. He's up the 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 thing's up in the air, isn't it? Flying currently, yeah. Okay. So she's going to go within five foot of Ripper. Okay. Um, and um cool. be ready to help if she can. Um, oh and that okay. is that. Okay, um, good to know. Sorry, just looking to see what things this thing has. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Okay, good to know. Uh, right. <laughs> um, things like that. <laughs> no, it's alright, I'm looking, I'm looking at your allies. That's fine. I'm just trying okay. to see what they can do to help. So, if that's everything for you and um, Toots, we're back to the top of the round. Creature flying in the sky is first going to roll. See if it gets... It does not. Breath weapon back. It does not. <laughs> Thank God. Um, so it's going to fly down. In fact, it's going to fly over. No. Octavius. Knew it. As you see the uh, creature flying towards you, the blue head looks up. It's draconic more opening, and you see a fuzzy white ball in its mouth as it's going to use its second head duck octavius duck dc uh 16 sorry no 15 deck save all right you're muted 21 no okay Yay. so you're nice. gonna take half damage <laughs> i take 40 points of lightning damage oh. Got me concerned. To anyone at home who has the expanded monster manual, I have tweaked these creatures to be appropriate for levels. <laughs> well, tried. We'll see if we'll see if they're tweaked that appropriately for our levels. <laughs> There's a lot of dice. That's ridiculous. So you succeeded, you take 15 points of lightning damage as out of its mouth <laughs> lightning streaks out and just leaves, you will watch as it basically doesn't just hit Octavius, it kind of streaks into the ground <laughs> and then into Octavius, leaving an outline on the wall. Um, you also see Octavius's hair, <laughs> the flames just sticking directly up. <laughs> He's got the static going. <laughs> um, it is then, it has used its movement. 
That's what it's going to do. That's exactly what it's going to do. Is it still do. floating 30 feet in the sky, is it? Uh, it is still floating 30 feet in the sky. Lack, you are up. You move 25 foot towards it, jumping over Ripper. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I shall <laughs> fully Troy Spear into the back of it. Okay, you know it's 30 feet up in the air at the moment. I shall throw my spear at it. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, 26. That hits. Oh, nice. Uh, four. 11 points of damage. It zoops back into my hand. Yeah. I'll throw it again. <laughs> Go for it. That's not so good. 15, which I believe is. Misses. So it's the second time it, it kind of just bats it away with one of its large claws. And then I will. Uh, I will stay there. No, that's a bloody line with me and Ripper. So I shall move up towards the tree to the northwest. The big tree. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, like that. Yeah, one more. 20. Big yeah, big. easy with your movement. Yes. Okay, um, it's the sorcerer who's kind of waking up dazed. Six, you're on deck after that. Uh, so the sorcerer is going to look up. Last thing it saw was six just punching it into oblivion. It wakes up to see a giant flying three headed creature and uh, just starts. Make a morale save. <laughs> Pretty much. It's uh, just going to go, Oh my god, the beast's real! We thought it was all made up! Um, and then it is going to use a sorcery point to cast Quicken Spell. Uh, and then... Yeah, it, it's it's going to use it again. Uh, six, I need you to make a deck save. Fireball! It's fireballing this motherfucker. It's fireballing him as a bonus action as well. Nine on my deck save. Come on. Ooh, that's so many dice again. Twenty-eight points of fire damage. Wowzers. Who takes that? Me? What did yeah, you? Did you... Oh, no, I failed the save. I only got nine. Uh... So I'm going to have to knock this kobold out again once I get back down. <laughs> uh, good news. 28 points of damage, did you say? Oh my yep. god. Is the creature failed. Uh, it is going to use the legendary a mythic resistance to, to only take half damage. So it's going to take 14 points of fire damage. By the way, normally we're fairly lose rules of light on this because it, it kills things. But you are on fire, just so Ooh. you know. Me. As is the creature, because you obviously have flesh. Well, it looks fucking awesome, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Mm. I mean, so even in a storm? Ghost Rider. You are not currently in the store. Oh, it's 60 foot wide, isn't it? 60 foot wide, yeah. Hmm. Covers but pretty much just, the whole area. Does it call lightning, or does it also call rain? Uh, I don't actually know. Give me a sec. I mean, it's uh, six could be a one. rainless storm cloud, couldn't it? Yeah, it, it could be. I mean, we're sort of doing yourself here, Brad, because I was going to say the creature is also on fire. Yeah. No, what would I, I know. Have to do to, what, what would happen if I'm on fire? Oh, no, it's just, it's just, just, it's just, it's just a dark so, cloud. Yeah. It's just yeah. a storm cloud. So mechanically, normally it's a full action to put out the flames. In this scenario, because things are a bit tense, I'd say you could use a bonus action. Okay. Oof. I mean, not to mess her too much, but. There are three pools of water that you could jump into as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, like, what, so, so what happens each turn if I'm on fire? Just so you just I know. take a d6 of fire damage, regardless. Okay, each turn, but, or yeah. each at the start of my turn. At the start the of your turn, you turn. take a d6 of fire damage. You don't okay. get to save on it. You can't reduce it. There is right. a water pool right underneath you, Sean. All right. Let's see. I mean, but he's 30 feet up, so we'd have to hope that it was deep enough to uh, um, mm. swan, swan dive. <laughs> one, one would hope that one of your party might have a feather fall as a reaction, maybe, possibly, maybe, maybe. A wink, wink. Are you telling? Uh, 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 Nudge is as good as a wink to a blind man, etc., etc. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> Great. Um, mm, 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 whose turn is it? That was the creatures. Uh, yeah, then the sorcerer. It's going to call for his mate and then run behind the tree. <laughs> just 
duck. Fair, uh, fair that's play. his turn. Sticks, you are on fire, riding yep. the back <laughs> of a Gorgamera. Yes. Bring it down. Bring it down. Um, so as you Make see the prone, fire be. rise um, on Six, yeah. he it is the scream that he makes when he's on fire turns into an elephantine scream as yes. you see this fiery um, loxodon form emerge, and I use my radiant consumption. Okay. Um, which will add an extra. I can give you gowns. <laughs> it can, can't it? Um, it can. It does an extra six in radiant damage at the end of my turn. This is, I'm okay. telling you in case I forget. Thank you. Um, as a bonus action, I don't swap the fire out. Instead, um, I put the now piddly scimitar away, and I pull out the butcher's shield. Yeah. Um, and I make an attack with it. Okay, go for it. That's a 26 to hit. You Easy hit. Wheeze. Roll damage. Um, I will remind you, you haven't used the bonus damage on it yet from your... Yes, and that's that's what I was going to do. Yes, yeah, so that's exactly what I'm doing this time. So I do 17 points of slashing damage. Yep. Um, and on top of that, I do... Um, I channel the energy of the executioner who wielded it prior, and I do an additional 14 points of damage. Uh, that's lightning damage, I believe, right? Uh, it is... It j no, this one just says, if I'm just using execution, it just says, unless the sword itself does lightning damage. Well, it's... just check in the, in the, in the description, because I, no, I don't think wrote it in there. Execution just says uh, slashing damage. So oh, brilliant. Okay, Fanta, that's brilliant then. Uh, so you do... 17 plus 14. Yep. Um, and that's my first attack, right? Yes, Lovely. it is. A um, plus the six from the radiant. Yes, although that will happen at the end of my end of my turn, right? Okay. Um, so I'm going to use my um, lucky uh, superiority dice, and I'm going to try and use trip attack, which on a flying enemy knocks it down to the ground. Sure. Um so, use my dice tower. Thanks, Ian. That is a six. That's six extra points of damage. If you make um, the attack, you've got to make an attack roll for your second. Oh attack. yeah, that was for the first attack. I'll use okay. that on, the, on that first attack. There's no way I'm going to hedge my bets on not making that second attack. Damn straight. Okay. Um, so as you do this, you and the fiery man, um, uh, Gorgamera, start plummeting towards the ground. Yes. Oh shit. No, that's that's an excited oh shit. Can I? Can I didn't I, expect um... it to work. Well, <laughs> it will move 30 feet. You're currently making an athletics check. Can I do the feather fall reaction? If he falls off. Um... Yeah, I might be able to just... ride this thing into a pool of water and then we could just pummel it with lightning. Well. Um... So what happens? Um... Right. Seven. Now I'm going to say, because of this order you've chosen to do things in, you can make your second attack, but it will be at disadvantage as essentially you are falling <laughs> off backwards and you're swinging out. <laughs> Phaser, you can absolutely cast it as a reaction. Thank and you. like a Chinese lantern coming slowly down, <laughs> a, f a flaming six smith uh, falls as oh. the manticore is going to crash. Do you want to take your second attack? Oh, 28. Shit, I, sorry. Yeah, I didn't do it with this disadvantage. Oh, 16 mm. with disadvantage. Mm. That's a shame. So close. Oh. Uh, so as you fall... The change of speed, wasn't it? Change of velocity. Mm. It just, where you swipe, it banks as it's falling and it starts spiralling and it smashes into the ground, taking an additional nine points of bludgeoning damage Ooh. as it smacks into the earth. That was... Uh, oh, respect and the, the six now nice. it will take or unless you've already done it the yeah. six radiant damage plus the six radiant damage i will say because you haven't used it just to be fair because of featherfall you essentially float to the ground this thing is now prone on the ground in front of you because it has fallen out of the Ooh, sky nice if you wanted to use your action surge to, yeah I, I, now would be the time to do now it. would be the time to do it yeah thanks um and i assume I mean, only because it looks cool that I'm still on fire. I mean, you could literally <laughs> feather fall into the pond at this point and <laughs> yeah. do that if um, you wanted to, or you can choose to stay on fire. No, I'm going to be a fiery <laughs> elephantine man okay. with a huge... I'm just going to roll this now before sword. I forget then. Can you take off another five points of fire damage as you are still on... I can. 
I need to be a flame. So I'll use my action surge. Yep. Um, oh. Rolling with advantage because it's prone. It is now prone, or oh, you Matt. get advantage on your attacks. Keep forgetting. Um, oh well, then that, that's a nat twenty. Um, I can't. On, honest to God, you can't. It's that all is there in the ridiculous. Log. I can't believe this. That is this is going beautiful. well. Beautiful. This is going really well. Um, okay. So that's twenty nine to hit. Yeah, you've um, used your execution, yeah, you can't use it again this round, can you? I can't, I can't, no, but that's okay, that's not. okay. I did, I did my damage with it, it's still it's good. It's a once per day. Right, okay. Um, so I'm going to hit it for uh, 16 points. So what's your max damage normally? It's Oh god, of course, yeah. Um, 18 normally, plus another 10, so it's 28 in total. Cool. I've worked out there. No, 16, okay. no, he hit it with a 6, he hit it. Four sixteen. Four. so it's plus 16. So your normal damage is 18 max, right? It's so 2d6 30. plus No, that's six. taking the 16 to That's 12, so it's 12, um, plus that 16. 16. Yeah. Because that will take the bonus in, right? She's so it's 28. 28, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, well, that's, that's live on the screen. That's the first of my... Uh, do I still yes. get two attacks? Yeah. Of course I yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so advantage again. Damn, I've six think... has got the rage. Do you know what it's I'm going to try and do? What, how big is that? That is Dragon's Hall for now. I'm going to try mm. and... I don't know if, because it's lightning, if we're, if I can give advantage if I kick it into that pool, but I want to try and... What I will say is that you have seen that this thing's fairly resistant to lightning. Yeah, yeah that lightning's is true. Not, the, not the one. Um, in that case, I'll just, I'll just try and uh, roll a distracting strike on that first attack. Okay. Um, because I want to give... Uh, the next attack roll against the target by an attacker other than myself to have advantage. Oh, it's got advantage anyway. What am I doing? It has advantage. Oh, hey! Um, look, man, I was trying to do something fun. doesn't matter. I've already done it. I'm I just mean, more fun than riding yeah. a manticore, yeah, yeah, I know. smashing what am I it trying to the do? ground, and then critting it. Yeah. I'm just going to try and <laughs> rack, whack it again. All right? I'm just going to go for it. Go for it. That's a 21 to that hits. To hit. Damn. Um, oh, I didn't even do it with advantage, but but yeah. Uh, but roll advantage we'll anyway. Roll the game just in case, in case. You get the... 23. That, that's fine. So it is slightly higher. An additional 15 points of An additional slashing damage. 15 points of slashing. That yeah. is. How much have you done? Like 60, 70? <laughs> yeah, like 70 round. damage, I think. Now I know um, how it feels, I, Ryan. This, is, yeah. this feels good. I'm just I'm just calculating because uh, I want to get this correct and Quick I'm doing maths. mental maths, which isn't as good. So I'm at, I'm breaking out the calculator for this. Oh, no worries. I'm gonna genuinely, but it all happened so fast. And I'm it just uses gonna a bask resistance. in the glow of what just happened. Uh, and it uses a mythical resistance <laughs> to ignore and all, and all, all the of the damage. <laughs> okay, I think your first the first damage hit was 17, wasn't it? First attack, second attack, and that right. right. So yeah. hang on. Uh, six plus nine plus six plus seven hits. Plus Maybe you did 95 points of damage in a single <gasps> fucking round. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh my word. Wow. And it's not even hurt. That's the most amazing thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little dink in the side. I have you a. Do I also... see. Yeah, go on. It looks a little bloodied. Uh. <laughs> Damn well, hope so. Oh, uh, am I? Can I use this puddle now as my movement? Can I move into the puddle, or will that not? Will I need to use an action or some kind of thing to? It's traditionally an action. I would say. Oh, well, I can wait till the next round. Well, you've fine. taken the fire damage already. Yeah, so you've taken the damage this turn anyway. So you, you do it at the start of your next turn. That was insane. That's that was fine. insane. Sure. I'll um, stay where I am. Ripper, we got. <laughs> well, I am within ten feet of it, so I can hit it where I am. Yep. Um, and then, so, I'm just gonna have to hit it with advantage. Okay. Twenty-five to hit. Oh, that hits. I, um... Lovely. So that's my first attack. Get a crit for That's going... Uh, I re-rolled the one, which is handy, so that's... Uh, twelve points yeah. of slashing damage. Did okay. you roll with advantage? Yeah, you did. I did roll with yeah. advantage, yeah. And I got 25. Then I will expend a second level spell slot to cast a Divine Smite. Smite! Which will be 3d8 damage. Oh, that's not a lot. It's only 12. That's 12 additional radiant damage. Hey, that's not bad. That's, 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 that's 24 that's in a hit. And then I will That's take my brilliant. second really attack. Good. With 
Another 25 to hit. Yes. Friends. For a full 14 points of damage. Ooh. Nice. And nice. then I will smite on the top of that. Wait, a... smite's a spell. You, uh, can you smite twice in a uh, round? I, I think it's uh, once per round, like sneak attack. When do you hit with a melee attack? Melee yeah. weapon attack? But yeah, yeah I think it's spell No, I think it's no, unlimited. It just uses oh, spell we'll slots. Go for it then. You yeah. Do it. As long as you've got well, spell slot to yeah. use it. Yeah, so I'll use a first level spell slot this time. Cause... Okay. So that's the additional 2d8 worth of damage. Which is an eight points of additional damage. Then I will use my bonus action to uh, polar master it. See, Christine, this is why creatures get mythic actions. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. Mar martial guys that attack three or four times a turn. For a 21 to hit. Oh, damn. Okay. And then I shall do. I'll re roll ones, which is handy. Oh, I got a one again, so I only do an additional <laughs> four points of damage. Uh, That'll negate the twenties I've been getting, man. It's got some, the luck has to sort of run out somewhere. Right. Like, okay. It's taken like 150 points of damage in like that. It's in two rounds, time. yeah. In two rounds. It's going to use <laughs> two of its mythic actions. Watch out. To fly up. Uh, if it's moving, then I would like to you take an opportunity attack on it, please. Go for oh, it. Oh, I think I probably can as well. You can do I? that too. Go for it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Come on, baby. This is this is the one that it counts. This is the one you need. Shit's fourteen. Oh. Yeah, mine's yeah, thirteen, man. Need. This oh. thing's got wily. Got to wait. <laughs> it needed to. Poor thing. Yes. It's <laughs> used two of its. It's gonna have to use half of its movement. Obviously, to stand up from prone, so it only manages to fly 30 feet into the air. Nice. Uh, as it stands up, and I'm actually going to put a little mark on it. I think this should show it. One of those things guys. where a boss, you bring its health down, and no matter how much you hit it, it, it won't go down until it finishes this move it's got. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to go. Oh, no, 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 no. This thing. Mm, th I mean, you <laughs> I are now it. looking at like a lot of cuts and wounds. This thing is not <laughs> looking happy yeah. at all. Um, just right, the, next the, up is the three little guys. Just the binding. Oh, three come little on. guys. What was the guy's uh, name? What was the three. first guy's Rory. name? Rory. Rory. Rory and his pals. Uh, come on, Rory. I thought Rory was the one that got turned to mush. When no, that was the other one. Rory got That's saved. The, no. um, the canonical name now, I guess. Uh, the one just to the south of... No, Rory's going to go first. It's cooler. Rory's going to look at it and go... I'm giant to a worm. And yes. it's going to fling a dagger. That's all it can do. Um, which, 30 feet up, it's going to be at disadvantage. Hey. But, oh no, you just not buy it. <laughs> In fact, um, Phaser, as you look over, this dagger just appears in the tree and you hear it, Sorry! Uh, as, is it rolled a natural one? Um, and it, that, that's okay. The other two <laughs> are going to attempt at disadvantage to do the same thing. Miss. And miss. As these daggers just <laughs> arc through. I mean, it's a scary thing. And uh, then you are going to basically like see them just run yep. to try and retrieve run. their daggers. Just run. <laughs> um, that oh, is bless. their turn. Octavius. You are up. Okay, I am going to, with my action, call lightning on top of it. So it needs okay. like another deck saving throw. Where is it? And it will take 12 points of lightning. Is, is that on a success? success? Yeah, yeah. So not, okay. not a lot. Um, uh, well, it's going to half that again to six. Yep. Uh, and then, since that actually isn't a spell, that's just an action to use a concentration, yep. I'm going to bonus action healing word at first level on... I think six is the lowest at the moment, so... Yeah, you healed me up last time. Thanks, um, man. And man, this thing's not looking good. Nice. So that's seven points of healing, isn't it? No, 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 it's... Uh, oh. 11 points of healing. Thank you. Good work. Okay, are you moving as well, Octavius? Uh, I'm not going to move, no. I'm going to stay okay. where I am. Phaser, you're up. 
Come on, Fazer, uh, finish it off. Before your turn, it, it, oh, oh. Yeah. Two. <laughs> it's going to use a action. Oh no, it's too high up. It can't. No, go ahead. Oh goodness, I don't know what was going to happen then, but I didn't like it. Um, can I send two Eldritch Blasts, please? You certainly can. Um, uh, can I send it to the uh, Blue Head and the yep. Lion Head? I think. Of course. Right, first one is... That didn't work, that's 13. Second one is... That didn't work either, so nine. That <laughs> Terribly. Did just fly past that, that fly move oh, well, was, really, of... was really like spiraling up. Yeah, we've had a lot of very, good very work. good. Oh, it's like when it's listing is... from not quite like having. <laughs> yeah. hey. Christine, um, I mean, but... Faser single handedly talked down all of the cobalt. Yeah, all of the cobalt and chicken <laughs> stuff. We so, would like, be in a much worse a... state if we were fighting <laughs> them at the same time. Imagine fighting history. them at the same time. Yeah. That would have been a really cool encounter, wouldn't it? So this creature's dirty foot up, right? So Dead she, she, she just can do very little. She's going to stand by Ripper still. Um, but can she hold a move? Uh, yeah. No, hang on, hang on. She can hold a move to attack if something comes in range. Can she move... Um, so she's within sort of five foot of the creature. Okay. Um, so that... It, and then hold a move. Yeah. So that if it hits the ground, she'll do force and power drain. Yeah, of course. Cool. Let's do that. And it's back to the creature's turn. It's gonna roll, see if it gets its breath weapon back. So as uh, this thing's flapping up, you see the black head sputter, and then the blue head look up, and its eyes just begin to glow as it drops its more again. And I need a. Hey, you guys are standing in a row. Six. You've done the most damage to it. Uh, that looks like Rory. And lack. Deck saves. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, you are just outside of my. Yeah, no, you're I'm joking. No you're, fu to... you're fucking kidding me. <gasps> I got a natural 20. 20. Six two. is blessed to that. Oh, is to God, I, don't know what's, I don't know what's going on, but I've. I haven't really played a fighter before, so to have it during a combat encounter, I'm, I'm can you can you excited. can you give me the name of the D and D Beyond employee <laughs> that you you grease some palms with? So I've got them to sort of do the clothing. Yeah, yeah. So on this day, only roll. 20, I messaged please. in our group after I did all that stuff. I'm like, I feel post coital, man. I feel like that that chill. Like I feel good. <laughs> Mate, why do you think I love playing? Love playing strikers. Yeah. Okay. You take. So he saves. Yes, yeah, Rory. Come on. <laughs> oh man, that was close as well. Uh, had you failed, you would have taken fifty-three points of lightning That's damage. Gross. Ooh. As it is, you will take twenty-six points of lightning damage. That's okay. still not an insignificant amount. No. I use my reaction uh, with my shield to negate the damage. Completely. Wait. Love it. How are you doing that? As a reaction. Shield, shield yeah. Shield master thing. Shield master reaction. It's is it against an attack or is it against area of effects as well? Can you just read the. Oh shit! Is it an area effect? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Um. Hold on. I'm not sure. I thought it was any dexterity saving throws you could negate if you yeah. only take yeah, half. That's that's gen, saves. That's, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's generally yeah, what I Okay. Know. So six brings this shield up and the lightning just skims across oh, it. Amazing. Uh, What's the damage, I'm by blurry, the way? I'm blurry 26. and, I'm blurry okay, and um, aethered, so I don't know. I'm just going to keep saying it. Anything... You can keep saying it, but you're standing as like a, a basically like a 15 foot wide. No, but did it, did, it did something, and I don't know what it did. Oh, oh, thank you for telling me. Half it again. You basically you got resistance to all damage. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn me. Uh, okay. For the next minute, so yeah, half so that like, again. As it comes so in, twelve the points, lightning glitches, thirteen points. The lightning yeah. glitches. <laughs> you only take thirteen Sweet. points. Um, Ouch! Poor Rory. Rory. <laughs> on the other oh hand, no, Rory, just looks no. up, and you see him, like his outline, and like you see the internal skeleton for your cartoon. Classic. And as he just turns to look at Ripper and goes, "I was 
was a god. <laughs> and then he oh, Rory. Rory, no. As he Is he unconscious or dead? <laughs> you don't know. And uh, the creature is going to fly. 60 feet, which actually, let me measure it. I think that's off the map. Oh, I can't even actually move in enough to see. So this big old map. Yeah. You just see it flying out into the distance, weak and haggard. Black, what would you like to do? I would like to run 50 foot. I love you... how like Johnny's amazing legend, mythic creature, he wants to get it away from his safe. <laughs> but we're, we're going to do our best to just... Uh, so it. just to let you know, you've now got a 30 foot wall in front of you. Oh, well, in which case, then I won't do that. I will okay. stand next to Ripper yep. and say, Ooh, um, Ooh. And like you, even through the you kitchen, moved. you can you see moved. like you these... moved six. Not... Oh yeah, you oh, moved sorry. six. But uh, I'm like there's battered and bruised, and I will hold an action to throw the spear when it comes into range. Okay. Um, next is the sorcerer who's gonna poke round. So I'm trying to see. I make maps way too big, man. I've got to start just making them tiny. <laughs> Why are not the moving? creatures are that big, though? He's in range. Oh, go on, Cobalt. The sorcerer. Yeah, throw it. Do it. Cobalt sorcerer. Finish him off. He's going to attempt. Wait, is that. Oh, no, he doesn't. Not a wizard. Not a wizard. He's going to attempt to firebolt. If he crits, this would be amazing. <laughs> Come on, Rory, too. It's close. Let's. Is it going to be enough? What's his. Roll the 17. Basically, 17. You need an 18. Oh. You see this fireball just shriek off into the distance. Come on, Bernie. Oh, no. Sick. Uh, Bernie. Sick <laughs> um, I will. Probably, oh, it's a tough call, but I think as I walk through the, yeah, I'll put the fire out with my bonus action, and yeah. um, in doing so, with that goes my uh, form as the steam rises. I think for flavour, I'm not going to literally put it out, but like as I walk through the water, it puts it out, and my form changes back through the steam to mm -hmm. to a person um, again. But... And I, I'm just going to walk next to Lack, so I'm sort of. Maybe to his south, um, okay. southwest. Oh, or oh, don't like that. Splosh in the middle oh, of the puzzle. Oh, I like um, something. I don't like what I can see on here, Johnny. Um, <laughs> the... That's me. That's not Johnny. That's oh, okay. Me. <laughs> All right, Brad. I was seeing some sort of cut, like sort of vision of like seeing how far it went. If it could attack us, um, and I will also ready alongside my brother. I'll ready a hand axe to throw at it. Um, if it if it comes into range, okay. um, well, yeah, no, well, it's sixty feet away, right? Uh, yeah, it's about sixty-five Would it be feet six from you. Okay, so it wouldn't be sixty feet as the crow flies. Well, it's certainly not because you've got a thirty-foot embankment. It's, it's basically flown up over this embankment and up over the trees. All right. Already in action. If this thing wants to go lick its wounds. We can. I'll let it, and then we'll go and mm -hmm. finish it off later. So yeah, I'll hold an okay. action, same as same as my brother. Okay. Um, it's basically the two remaining kobolds now are going to. Oh wait! Don't I go before the kobolds? Oh, sorry, Rip, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lack, how far can you throw your spear? I think it's only sixty foot. Johnny. With and okay, I want to propose something dumb here. Go for it, right? Why, why break out the light on? Both six and lack have held actions. Mm -hmm. Both six and myself are incredibly strong. Lack is incredibly light. Can we use those actions? <laughs> fling lack 
basically like up and forwards over the embankment so midair he can just fucking throw his spear at this at this thingy to to try and Johnny's face. We're gonna listen. We're gonna do the we're gonna do the banyet slingshot, right? That's what we're the doing. Banyet slingshot. The thing the banyet slingshot. The well known move. You know what mother you always used to say about the banyet okay. slingshot? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then you can fall into the water. Sploosh. The whole mist. It's like it's gonna be a you mist. You can but... throw something a number of points equal basically to your strength score in feet. Or something. It's been a while since I've seen the strength things. Like being a human, I'm gonna say I'm gonna put this down to a D twenty roll. Right, if you get over an eighteen to an eighteen or up, I will let this happen. Oh, and that's but and it's using six as action as if you'll let me six as action as well. Yeah. To basically grab then, a foot each and do the banyan slingshot. Yeah. It's an eighteen plus. <sighs> okay, and you just want me to roll a straight D twenty. Straight D twenty, nothing added. You have to get higher than eighteen. <sighs> yep. Okay. Jeez Louise. Ten percent right. chance. It's a ten percent chance. Basically. Okay, listen. What did what did uh, what did Taj say to say? Lucky, lucky dice. dice. Lucky, lucky, lucky dice. dice. Lucky, lucky dice. Lucky, as lucky happy dice. On, and as positive as you can Fucking be. Fucking come on, because this would be the most awesome thing. Move, right? This would be the greatest lucky, lucky dice moment if... <gasps> I got a 17! <laughs> no! Oh. Son of a bitch! No! Oh, man. So for a moment, this thought enters Ripper's head. He looks at Lack, and he looks at Six. He looks at Lack, he looks at Six. He looks oh. at his own arm, and he goes... Six oh no! Yeah. I even say as long as this works, I might even sort of. It might be my sort. Of, it might be Six's call to just say, you know what Mother always said about the Banyard slingshot. Like it's just <laughs> not like it's not the right thing to do. Oh no! Worries about his brother's Ripper life, doesn't right? even say anything. He just looks at you both. I'm still gonna say you've got your action right. I'm gonna say that was a. To see if you could do it. So you've yeah, still got your nice action you. if you'd like that to was do so it. Close. That was so close. <laughs> what? So what? So I've still got my action if I can try and throw lack. No, no, no you, you definitely can't. can't throw lack. Okay. But what I'm saying is, you've in that moment you've kind of calculated oh, the so odds close. to see if you could theoretically do it, and you've kind of gone, it's not going to work. Hey, that's the better case scenario than if we'd done it and failed and can I, had can come I crashing still, into the cliff. Can I so. still see it? Just about. It's getting increasingly difficult. So I could take five foot, step five foot forward and hit it at sixty because I'm sixty feet away. Again. It is, it has got a no, little no, bit of no, cover no, from I've where it's the, flying. I've got the thingy. Yeah, it still has a little bit of cover because it's essentially just because of the angle. It's over a hillock and now over some trees. You can make the shot. Yeah, it's not going to affect your roll at all. It will just add a little bit more to its AC for this distance now. Okay, that's fine. And I try and jump and do it. <laughs> sure. I'll just roll it. I'll just roll just it. Roll the dice. I'll just roll it. The Vanyet slingshot would have almost worked. Nah, it's only an eight anyway. <laughs> Fizzles out. I got a one instead. Vanyet oh, slingshot. One day. <laughs> one day. Um, one one day. day. We need hey. to talk about it before we do it. Yeah, yeah. Now the fighters, uh, the little thieves, are just gonna look over at Rory, tear up, and just drop to their knees. Oh, and that's gonna Lord. just be their turn. Octavius. So I'd like to move 30 foot north. So basically my full movement north to try and get as much vision of this thing as I can. Okay. And then I want to cast Scorching Array at third level. Yes! Yes! <laughs> like 300 foot or something. So it's 120 foot in range. Yes, you're in range. Make three attack rolls. And so that's... No, that's four attack rolls. Four. Casting it Sorry. third level. Yeah. So Go on, Brad. First one is 23. Lucky, lucky dice. Fourth one, so second lucky, one. Lucky lucky dice. Eighteen. <laughs> Sixteen. Lucky lucky dice. Lucky lucky dice. Oh, lucky, lucky Twenty-seven. Dice. Nice. <laughs> three hits. So that's three hits, is it? Legend. It has full yeah. cover, which means oh. anything over twenty-three hits. One hit. So two hit. Twenty-three, right? two hits. Yeah. Boop. Nice. We'll so. Take that. We'll take that. That's a total of Brad. Fifteen points of fire no, Brad. Yeah. How does it end? Oh. Nice. Oh. Basically, I'm gonna fire t 
two, my first two miss, and so I, I bring out the finger gun. The first two. <laughs> aiming, 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 as you do it. aiming. I aim with one hand initially. Give the you. first two miss, so I steady myself. <laughs> two hands. It's two. The first one. The first one goes. The first one goes straight through a wing, and it starts yes. to fall out of the sky. The second one oh. cracks it, and it goes arse to head, all the way through. Nice. <laughs> Right up the rectum. Jesus. And Way as this apple. creature comes barreling down, you hear a... You hear a... It's like birds just flat fly up in the forest the thing where something's just landed. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Whoa. <laughs> I about to say, lap bolts. Lap bolts for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That was well tough, done, guys. Bradley. That was great. Oh, that was a, a genuinely deadly encounter. Um... Yeah, that was. Really well good. done. Basically, getting the kobolds inside was clutch. That was mm. clutch. Because well that really That's turned on. action economy on your favour. Both mm. Ryan and, and Christine for that. That was that was yeah. good work. The it sticky wasn't chicken came in handy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, we, and we didn't even use it. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, didn't exactly. even use it. Best <laughs> fucking thing. I love it. That's a running gag. The sticky chicken never gets used. Just threatened the whole way. <laughs> so... Well done for living, guys. That was impressive. Still want to take. I still want to see if we can get Rory uh, reincarnated. Yeah, let's not forget about Rory. Let's see. Well, what if he's just got, if he's just got death saves, maybe we can stabilise him. Yeah, exactly. Maybe we'll we'll find out next time whether he was annihilated or whether you know. Maybe we should um, take a little poll in the uh, mm. in the stream as to whether people feel we should try and save Rory. Yeah. yeah, Dan, I'm going to say the same thing to you. I say to classes whenever they try telling me what they want to happen. <laughs> at no point is this a democracy. At <laughs> best, it's a benevolent dictatorship. <laughs> yeah. Take the benevolent out right now. <laughs> um, it's wishful thinking. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, well done, guys. I'm very impressed. I'm genuinely yeah, impressed. Thanks, so, Johnny. That was a great session. Very yeah, great. Right. Was, happy, really to, happy to have fun. One vote for saving Rory already, who has been spelt in the truly Irish fashion. So. Ah, okay. Lovely. Oh, in my notes, I've just spent it raw with a Y on the end because it made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I imagined it as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, tonight's epic combat with I hope you notice all the different soundscapes sorry podcast listeners uh, brought to you by the wonderful Sirenscape because epic games need epic sounds thank you so much for providing those sound sets you can check them out in our links if other people would like to see them also uh, D&D Beyond for our character sheets and uh, Foundry VTT for host being our virtual tabletop for the evening which we needed to get some tense combat manoeuvring mm. uh, so that was awesome right if people want to listen again to this epic where can they? You can listen wherever you find good podcasts. Just search Blood and Song and tell us about who your favourite benevolent dictator is on our socials. <laughs> that can be, if that's Johnny, if that's, I don't know, somebody else. I don't know if there's Johnny. any Johnny. Oh, <laughs> or any other teacher you had that was a, a benevolent dictator. Um, let us know. You can find us at Blood Song Party on Twitter or Blood and Song on Facebook and Instagram. And also, if you go to YouTube, you can find these episodes as well. We back them all up. You can find some excellent lore there. If you search Blood and Song Aryan Well, you're able to beat that pesky algorithm. Make sure you're there, giving us a like, giving us a subscribe. Make sure you're sharing us on your podcasts and on Twitter as well, please. Thank you very much for listening, folks. It has been epic. We will pick this up next week to see what happens. Until then, may the Great Mother guide you in all that you do. Good night. Oh.